welcome one and all to the Goblin. Yes, how's everyone doing today? Hello, it's time. It's time, my friends, as we continue off from the last session. Those goblins have gotten themselves in a little bit of a hairy predicament on their first arrival and return back to the Ishtar Highlands. We're going to see if our goblins survive or uh, not, I guess. <laughs> uh, allow me to unmute and say howdy to everybody. Hello. Unmuting. Hello, everybody. You literally said unmuting in two and it just showed up now. And then you meant two seconds. It was oh. two minutes and two seconds. It was two minutes and the timestamp just doesn't reflect it. Yeah, the, the right. timestamp just uh, says no. Nah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I don't know why it does that, but uh, yeah, but hi. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Brett. Brett Ultimus. See, why? just like that. <laughs> Brett Ultimus. I just like to just really lean into it. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Get his name. Just get really slug like in it, you know? Just sounds like Dungo. <laughs> Now all I hear is Dungo. Dungo wishes he's fucking sounded like that. <laughs> I can't believe Dungo you're cutting... wishes he was alive. Actually. Yeah. Yikes. Wow. Yeah. Well, Mom, there is a wish boy. spell in D and D, so there yeah. is. Dungo wow. can't wish. He's dead. Wow. <laughs> no, but we can wish for him on his behalf. Wow. To live. Goblins. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, I ain't gonna do it. Fuck that guy. <laughs> anyway, what are we? Are we fighting wow. some kind of creature? Yeah, you are fighting some kind of creature. Hold on, let me uh, switch. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, how uh, how you, how you been doing? I don't know what your sleep schedule is nowadays. I I see you like doing interviews in the AM, and then you're like talking to Jeff Goldblum like next the other now in the week. I just you're you've been all over the place, man. Let's uh, some of us be working, man. You got to hustle. That's how it be. Some of us be hustling. Some of us be crendering. And then everyone's in the middle, right? That's yeah, how I'm friend door. Checks out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Friend door is the opposite of hustle. I panicked. <laughs> like I had, you said that, <laughs> and I was in the same room as Crendor when you said that, and I just had anxiety just immediately. Oh, I'm that like, dude, the Crendor way. That is. <laughs> it's just <laughs> kind of, I'm not generalizing. It's it's true, I'm not it's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's. Uh, you guys want to play some some Dungeons and Dragons? Sure. I'm over it. You're yeah. over, you're, I'm, I'm done like with over this. it. I'm Dungeons yeah. and done with this, Brett. Dungeons. Yeah. 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 I, like, I like Pathfinder now. Yeah? yeah. No. Tell me. Whip up a Pathfinder? No. Yeah, tell me. We, we won't play it. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Maybe you could teach me. Yeah, There's tell me a lie. about... <laughs> There's a lie. There's a lie. There's Please tell like, me. Uh, Tales from the Loop. Can we get on that? What's tail? That sounds <laughs> an Amazon TV show. Yeah, but <laughs> it's also a, a d it's also a role playing game. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty great. I mean, you'd have to be in the loop to know the yeah, tales from it. Yeah, so. it seems like not a lot of people are. <laughs> hey, there they are. There's my there's there there's my gobbies. There's my little gobby boys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Gobby Hello. boys and gal. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. I'm not a goblin, but you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, unofficial. Un I mean, every, I'm every, like pretty you know. close. And you're you're you a know. goblin with the shell. That's the general idea. Oh, yeah, well, we're fighting. Yeah. So yeah, I know I know you guys are yeah. over it, but I think I think I calculated that we might have five or six sessions left of goblins, L maybe. maybe. Ever? Oh, yeah. Like, are we're you trying to kill us off? Is that what's happening? We're Sucks for you guys. I'm gonna hop this party when it ends. We're <laughs> approaching the end. Well, I mean, so as far as the quote unquote story goes, um, we uh, say something I told chat, and I'll just I'll just say it over here. We're probably wrapped up with all the campaigns by the end of the year, and then that's when that's when phase three uh takes place, which is a brand new brand new campaigns for everyone, brand new characters. Uh, we're looking at about a thousand to two thousand year time skip. I don't know how far it is, but it's essentially we'll see right. what happens to the world. Wait, but who kills all the cosmos? Is it us? It's Does it well, happen in the next 
four episodes? Well, that's that's the thing. If if wait, if, how long's the time skip? A uh, thousand to two thousand years. So all of our characters are still nothing fine relevant. And they're alive, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> some some right? some some Models characters are. Some of them. In your some, heart. some okay. of them. Some of them. He's gonna freeze us, dude. Some yeah, of them. please hand solo our characters, Brett. <laughs> so, so as so uh, the question when it comes to all the Cosmas, uh, as well as the Lagoses that still remain and are still alive, um, once the story is complete, once the Goblins of I I I.O. story is complete, I think the plan is in December to have a bunch of side stories for you guys, for everyone to form your own parties and do essentially what you want, the unfinished business, if you will. So if you uh, all we're gonna have like behind the scenes of H one or something. No, 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 no. I mean, we could. Wow. But... <laughs> no, 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 no. Worst no, idea. No, Jesus I've ever Christ, had. no. No, I mean, we, yeah. It's kind of, <laughs> but I mean, to. maybe I guess. <laughs> yeah. But like, oh, drug, <laughs> but like no, drug addiction continued off screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, ul ul I mean, ultimately, there's a lot of side stories that I know some characters were interested in pursuing. Uh, Qua, I think, wanted to join Sterling in the pursuit of uh, Lawman's character Braun, who's still at we're large. We're still doing that. I mean, if you wanted to, I mean, that's ultimately right. if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, it's. I just figured he like got away with it already. <laughs> he got away like his with evil this. plan or whatever. I don't know. No, How no, can no. Braun keep getting away with this shit. No. He right? can't. He cannot. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be thousands of years again, and then <laughs> Braun's gonna be waiting around. No, I, I mean, I mean, Braun is immortal so i mean it is very it, there is a distinct possibility Braun. Yeah, that's why we gotta kill him all my fun. homies hate braun yeah. <laughs> Legit. There, is, there is a distinct possibility Legit. that <laughs> there may be a braun in phase three who knows but ultimately yeah but i will make up some fake name or some shit when <laughs> braun that. No, no one ever asks it's about gonna be called Ven. nob <laughs> who well ven is long <laughs> dead <laughs> right yeah ven well i mean Mm, if you watched uh, uh no if you watch chamber of the eight uh Bro, is there. out there smile yeah exactly oh, i mean the 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 animated body of yes but the soul is long gone right brett right N no oh okay i need to think about this Oh. Oh, I guess I, I need to process this for a bit. Well, Sorry, well, guys. I know it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I mean, I mean Benji, your your character is, is alive and kicking right now because oh, I, I like that. I like that. That's the oh, case. I like that yeah. part. You like that part? Yeah. I, I like that part. I like, I that, like part. that part where I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, two thumb up from me, Brett Ultiman. Yes. Uh, I'm. So I mean, I mean, um, all of Bree's characters, if they decide to, you know think you know decide to meditate on it and focus on it uh you know where you know where ven is and she's just yeah. she's she's waiting she's she's she, she's she waiting laying in wait is she that is what that phrase is yeah, yeah like laying that. in wait okay yeah, cool something, something like that so but those are those are side stories that if uh players want to uh explore i mean you have the altered city of atlas at your disposal you effectively have the means to teleport anywhere around io because all the players and characters you've interacted with are from mm. all over io so i mean effectively uh you can form bonds and alliances to go to these oh. areas go to these places if that is what you desire but ultimately it, it's it's up to you if that is something you want to pursue and i'm and i'm having open D, D sessions effectively is what it is that you guys are free to explore those those stories and, and right, right, right. but that didn't answer my question about the yes. wandering gods happening in the world mm. which which uh which which uh which, which well, i'm referring ones? to the fact that there are there are multiple deities of Dude, cosmo yeah. left if we don't take them out then they then you know they're, they might still be there it well so um this is uh, this is an above table other campaign lore um, but there are, uh, there are the presences of two other Cosmas, um, which you guys don't know where they are, but if you guys watch, you know, I'm talking to chat, Nova Hellscape, uh, that's revealed where the other Cosmas are. Um, you don't know what they're doing. Cosma guy. Yeah. Well, you, God so, damn. but, but Isn't that the, the group with two elephants, <sighs> what, uh, oh, <laughs> they got elephants? <laughs> Why, how can they have two? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> but um, we don't have two goblins. 
<laughs> you you all have you all haven't seen the influence of the other Cosma, so you're you're uncertain if they're even. I mean, they're out there, which means they are threats. But where they are and what they're doing, uh, ultimately, you guys don't know what that is. So mm. he's an if, influencer. How many followers does he have? Uh, are you talking about uh, a Cosma, Big Corpse, yeah. and Sky? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. no! Do not do this. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I want to know. I mean, I've never heard of him, so I mean, yeah. they're brand aware of Cosmo at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think they have uh, an Instagram like Instagram has been long since dead in the world of IO for <laughs> oh, 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 it's ancient history. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a Star War. <gasps> yeah. Well, because like because because in in the history of of IO, Earth existed and has been long since dead. So technically. You're mm. all a part of it as well, and have been long since huh? dead for hundreds of thousands of years. Okay, wait, <laughs> literally, I'm go literally, time caps on my uh, yacht. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give meta knowledge to yeah. my character. <laughs> well, what are they right. post on I'll that? Take this send a message to where are we? Jupiter's yeah. moon or some shit? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, damn it. So I mean, yeah, that's, that's what we've already been through. Everyone always has one question. Joe's was, does that mean AK 47s were a thing? I'm going to go look for one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. the world I want to see an AK 47 on Cheezle's staff. I want to yeah, see that happen. Just start the final four. It only gets one shot for some reason. <laughs> yeah. And it's done. It broke. It snapped it. <laughs> now killed another god. Oh, you yeah. fogged it up with mud. Yeah, can't fire no more. Can't fire no oh, more. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so I have a. I have a question. I think this was originally from uh, Qua. This uh, this giant brown square. What was this? This was under the monster. Yeah, difficult terrain. It was slow or something, right? Difficult terrain. That's all it is. Oh, well, what, what the what the spell? What was the spell of that? Oh, it was a fucking big earth spell. What is it called? Big earth spell. You know what? You know what I'm talking about. You play this game. erupting earth. Oh, erupting earth. I um. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't I don't mean to, you know, ruin confidence, but I don't know all the spells off the oh, top of I mean, my head. Fucking, yeah. I know like two of the <laughs> ten classes in D&D. So. Look, look, all I know is there's like my favorite part about DMing a bunch of groups is there's a small list of spells that <laughs> players get really hee hee about to me. Like they, they're they're about to do it's something that trick. I I was. Yeah, the big trick that I was I'm about to you be read the fiber casted <laughs> about. Yeah. The, and usually it's it, I had like three or four people be like, well, I'm going to cast looks at DM banishment. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I love banishment, man. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And then, and then the, the, the big one, uh, another big one was sickening radiance. It's like, you're not That's, ready for dude, my, I, you're not ready for that. Dude. You're not ready <laughs> no to microwave ready somebody. <laughs> It's, like it's two radiance. turns and they're or it's like four turns and they're dead. Dude, ex exhaustion levels in D and D are just. I hope they fix it in it's five point five. It's so bad because like it like the first level exhaustion is like you're mildly uncomfortable. It's whatever ability scores are bad, and then the second level is like you move at half speed. You are dead. <laughs> you're like Jesus Christ. Yeah, by the second one you're fucking dead. <laughs> like that just took some leaps. All right, so um. I'm going to scroll up. Now, here's a question that I don't want to sound big scholastic nerdy about. Was anyone Julie, keep was anyone there. What a yeah. nerd. Was anyone taking notes about this encounter from nope. the things that you've scared? <laughs> Brett, I took summer for granted. <laughs> I don't take notes. All and right. now we're here. Yes. Wait, guys, we're supposed to be taking notes? Yeah, I mean, take notes. You yeah. could. Well, you could, but the thing is, mm. since there's, you know, lots of mechanics and boss fights and things like that, it's good to know what everything does so that you don't... I thought you did it all last time, Brett. You yeah, put it in well, the I, but... All I do is copy-paste. <laughs> yeah, all I... Oh, well, it's actually up here. We're, we're, we're... But he doesn't know what we know. He's just got the list we, of everything. I know no, 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 no. Didn't he, uh, he edited his comment, so the yeah. debilitate turn one. I don't know. So what I um what I do is I just copy and paste all that information in both Roll20 as well as uh, the Discord for whoever the note-taker is. Uh, but some groups don't take notes, and that's... <laughs> 
ultimately fine. But personally, uh, I think uh, taking notes is cheating because your player oh does not have a list of uh, things they pull out. But now, if they are them. allowed a list of things they pull out because they're yeah, a nerd, the player, I will. But the character would remember shit. <laughs> yeah, no, they would. don't bother to remember. All right, there's like times where you go out and you're like, oh, I went to the grocery store, forgot to get the milk. It's like, oh, I forgot that I have this spell. Not every fucking character has a concussion every episode, Eric. That's what I'm saying. Not every character has a concussion. Oh, oh, but sorry. but but I I I respect uh, Crendor. I, I what were we talking about? I, <laughs> I have no idea. Crendor, I respect your comparison. Uh, but you. also, to be fair, uh, getting milk at the grocery store usually is not a life or death scenario. Could be, dude. Could be. <laughs> oh boy. Do you see the, uh, the when the pandemic hit and the amount of shit You're flying right. off the shelves? Honestly, yeah, that's right. That's true. You're just like, well, I guess I'm. <laughs> Yeah. Did um, you write it out? In I did. The chat? I did. I did. So, um, beginning of first level, you know how to strike. Sh wait, what the fuck? Okay, hold I, on. I remember me... for sure that we did tauntable and we did yeah. the conditions. Yes. For so sure. I've got yeah. So here's what I've got. I've got damage resistances, tauntable, and I think oh, and the debilitate turn, which you now know. In fact, is at initiative of five, and that a is life or death situation learned. would probably make it even harder to remember stuff because you're so rattled. Mm -hmm. Another True, but but you're yeah. you're 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 a heroic goblin who has has taken on. That's not true. I mean, it's God, so. It is heroic to walk around <laughs> buck fucking naked every single day yeah. wherever he goes. That is yeah. true. Confident. He just doesn't know any better. That's Confident. different. Yeah, that's true. Insanity. That is that that, that is also true. Um, we'll see. So that is yeah. So just to to recap because this is a. Since we are approaching the the quote unquote end um, of this, uh, obviously you'll see encounters are getting a, a, a harder. I almost said a lot harder. I don't think you're supposed to say that. Anyways, it is getting more uh, difficult. It's definitely getting more difficult. Man, many harder. Many yeah. harder. Yes. Stop. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, English, very good. Um, mm, so, oh. <laughs> yes. Um, wait, wait. So, Brett, so you're saying it's mm. coming to the end of things. So there's like no consequences for the things we do and decide to to well, do I mean, the there's, world. there's always there's always consequences. Yeah, but and not that our characters would care about. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, but the, your characters also know it's they're they're approaching. Well, I guess that, they do. Well, you guys are time on. capsule. Yeah, I put that in the capsule, Brett. <laughs> you well, you haven't, you haven't found the time no. capsule yet, so you I'm gonna request. Session. Yeah. To live, muscle. <laughs> <laughs> what did he mean by I, this? I, 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 <laughs> so many things I could correct, but I'm just gonna move on. Not even <laughs> to continue. Don't take his bait. Yeah. No, no. Um. So, but ultimately, uh, yeah, be careful and you know, GG, have fun. Uh, make sure you you're scanning all that fun stuff because uh, shit's wild. Shit's wild and shit's dangerous. You're encountering um as a brief recap. Um, a giant slug that has unearthed itself from underneath uh, the Bard College. Uh, Clurnt, you heard a whisper within your head, welcome home, as the slug that was forced down your your esophagus, your, your throat, uh, now seems to be writhing and ringing around in your chest. Um, and it's actively trying to kill you now. That is That is correct. Uh, you yeah, have... so is so is model. They're all trying to kill me now. Uh, yes, that is, oh, that yeah. is also true. Oh, yeah. Everyone's... Yep. <laughs> um, one oh of the, yeah. One of the key things you've learned, which is why, and that's why I'm kind of doing just a brief recap. Um, Clarent uh, has a secondary hit point bar. Uh, this is the hit point bar of the slug that is currently uh, residing within within Clarent. Current Ooh, health bar. Yes, the blue health bar is the slug that is residing and actively attempting to murder Clarnt by command of the Bardic Slug Queen, who is currently within the, in the uh, currently within the uh, the courtyard. You guys have where does the uh, bug reside inside of him? Oh uh, well, you Tummy. see, well right now you just kind of see this giant girth within uh, Clarnt's chest that is actually actively moving around. That's kind of like like moving around within his chest cavity. I mean, it's it's horrific. It looks absolutely horrible. Has so, it like been in his stomach for like forever? It's been um since and well, it's been inside. Learn since I don't know what session it's been, but it's been a. You guys were like level four, 
right? That was when you guys got to level four or level three. Something that, like that, yeah. Yeah, that's it's it, it's been a while. It's been since but yeah, since the last time we were at the Bard College. So it's been there in a while. I'm just trying to like learn how this slug like did it like bury itself in his small intestine? Did it, it like replace his tongue? It replaces his tongue like those parasites. Oh, do that fish, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, ultimately, Wait, that's oh, ultimate. no. We would have seen that. We <laughs> yeah. Do that. No, no, no. It's a really good tongue imitator. We so, couldn't fucking tell the difference. <laughs> it's the uh, the the uvula, right? Yes. <laughs> the two goblins were looking inside Clarence's throat. No, I think you mean the urethra. No, I definitely yeah, mean the, the urethra. urethra. Yeah, I don't mean that. Like this. That's a brave bug. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring it up. I had to bring it up. Yeah. Uh, two goblins looked inside Clarence's mouth, seeing the uvula dangling within Clarence's mouth and then we're like there it is there's the slug um but as far as like what the slug has been doing i mean ultimately you'll have to do uh, a medicine check upon Clarence's corpse to figure out exactly where yeah. that the slug fuck? was i'm not taking this fucking cloak off you guys are psychos <laughs> <laughs> so we need to hit you man yeah ultimately with that that's yeah, what you models have to high on crack uh Clarence's not gonna <laughs> trust anything that fucking comes out of this psycho's mouth as he tries to shoot me that it's not crack. Hot. It's possibly vampire blood or something like that. Uh, the blood of day, day blood, day oh, magic that's the blood. One. Yes, yeah. Day yes. blood. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Very Thank epic. You. Very epic. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the things that the things that you have discovered, I'll recap for you guys really quick before we go into a second round of combat. I'll also let you know everything that happened within the last round real quick, so that you guys can make. Um, some notes, some strategize with each other uh, of how what you're doing, how you're going to survive, etc., etc. Uh, so, things you learned from your scan checks in the first round of combat. Um, uh, from this list of traits, we've got damage resistance, condition immunities, immu uh, mutable form, exposed hide, and tauntable. For turns, we have the minion turn, the action turn, the tank buster turn, the battlefield turn, the debilitate turn, the conjure turn. Um, and you've also acquired the trait Parasite Slug, which you, I think, learned about. Let me double check my notes really quick. We learn about the Parasite, yes. I believe so, because you guys are yeah, aiming we for learn it about, now. That's why we're aiming for it, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, loading my notes up. Yep, you have, uh, you've, you've discovered all of that. Uh, let me... I mean, Clunt knows how his, his cloak works, too. He knows that if he did, like stub his toe and did one damage to himself it would disable the cloak for for a while right i mean yeah everyone's aware oh. of all, all Wait, the magical items again? they have you're 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 yeah because you because uh, when you attune to a magical item uh -huh. you, know how it works, yeah. you do know that if you hurt well, i know how the cloak works <laughs> i'm in rp there is no fucking way clarence letting you shoot him but, uh, you are a psycho eyes, that watches this worm get shoved focus. down my throat and didn't help as it happened the first time, and now you're Wasn't high on crack and trying sure. to shoot Clarence. <laughs> you think, man, sure you think gonna, I, I swear, medicine. the only person I think Clarence even trust to do this is like quiet this fucking Hell point. Yeah. You guys are Let's do this. <laughs> I'm a doctor in a way. Big RP, big Wait, RP. Literally, Maybe. I think Quar Cheezle at this point. <laughs> well, Thank that's fine. You. Keep, your, keep your cloak on, but I'm not going to stop shooting. I'm gonna save you, you know. In our I mean, maybe we check how much health the fucking worm has. Cause Give me one shot, one shot to get it out. This is uh, you had one chance. You want to look at one shot? <laughs> um, shot. You just leave this to Qua, and you just fucking do DPS on the big worm. I don't know if model. Qua can save your life in this situation. Yeah, I don't you think you can save worm. my fucking life. I, uh, you I might not take know. Take a life. I'm I'll take the life of from the melee specialist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Qua could he easily grapple Clarence and stop him. No. <laughs> Qua pointing at the bloody staff that he has constantly belted people yeah. over the head for. The snake licks. It's all licks. I've seen is you beat like an unconscious man over the head with it. That's all. So. <laughs> the, the staff has taken many lives. No, that's, I don't trust it. Don't trust all like right. That. So to recap, um, the debilitate turn goes on initiative of five. Oh yeah, let me get everyone's initiatives back up. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Um, debilitate turn goes on initiative of five. Those infected the parasite slugs, aka Clurt, uh, must make a Constitution saving throw DC seventeen or take sixty-six true damage as the slug 66. itself begins, begins to writhe and uh, around. Die. Yeah, beginning to. To, to, to assassinate, murder the host at this point by command of their uh, slug queen. Initiative. 
Is this what it? This is it. Uh, cheese is also a giant hyena. Wait, so what does this oh, yeah. imply about the fucking Bard College? Because if this is the queen and, and they infected you willingly, what the fuck were they doing with slugs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't mm -hmm. thought of that yet. He's got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll give you some time, Brett. I, I mean, was under there the entire time. I mean, I, I thought it through. I'm not just going to tell no, you no, what's no, going no, on. No, <laughs> the Lord now. You would have told me, though, because we're, we're, we're tight like that. Yeah, I would have just told you of me, like, <laughs> yo, dude, don't tell anyone, but this is the big, <laughs> this is the big plan. Uh, let me, let me recap exactly uh, what has happened at this college. Uh, one of the instructors said, hey, man, uh, this is going to teach you how to be a really good bard. And then shoved a slug down uh, down Clarence's throat. Yeah. I don't think this was a bard college at all. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think this place might be a like a slug cult. It did give you fucking power, though. Like, they knew what they were doing. They yeah, did also teach you us how bard. to uh, play mm -hmm. instruments, kind of. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, we all got an instrument. Hey, Harry yeah. Clark's gonna lose his through. college credits after this. I don't. Yeah, I think yeah, they're this non is not. You cannot transfer these credits. Uh, I, I, I will uh, let you know above board that this college was not accredited, so you can't transfer. No, I think. Okay. What if I, if I look that. at my character sheet and I squint really hard once I lose the worm? Is the College of Eloquence just gonna be gone and it's just gonna be a fucking blank spot there because he never <laughs> really had never, it to begin yeah. with? There was never a school. Uh, we'll have to see, won't we? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Gonna have to see. We'll have to what see. What if you don't realize it, but you are the parasite at this point, and you've, you've taken <laughs> You're over the You're more host. parasite than Clarence. <laughs> and you Clarence is the mushroom. The I knew it. Plant. Yeah. I fucking knew it. I had my the suspicions. The mushroom continues to dance upon Can we have Clarence's an exorcism head. of Clarence? Like, episode now? <laughs> Can we just exercise these things from him? These multiple parasites? <laughs> Really, what is Clarent at this point, if we really wanted to... Uh... Really, what is cloud gaming? <laughs> what is... yeah. What? That's a, that's an old school one. That's yeah, like Yeah, Crendor, you're now too old. I'm so sorry. Oh god, my memes! No, we have to put you down. My no, memes! I love, that. I, lo I love it, <laughs> back, back, in, back in my day, yeah. my memes were awesome. <laughs> they were... Right. no, they weren't. No, no, no. <laughs> fair, fair. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. All right. Uh, so, okay. Initiatives there. Uh, went over the debilitate turn. Uh, continuing there. Damage resistant. Uh, the slug queen is resistant to all slashing weapons. Um, tauntable as a bonus action. A creature may taunt the bardic uh, parasite queen. They become the target of the tank buster turn until the end of their next round. And that is the information... That you have. I believe I, I taunted. Yes. Uh, up to this point. Yeah, yeah. You did your action for your transformation so that you could use your bonus action to taunt, if I oh, remember I correctly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you taunted. Excellent. Excellent. All right. And so that's all you found out. Oh, yes. And then at the. I'm checking the turns here. Yes. At the end of this round, this writhing slug like tentacle has erupted from the ground. It's shifting and slowly moving. And it seems to be moving in every, in your general direction. Like it seems to be hostile is what I'm trying to say there. Okay. So without further ado, let me plop this on. Yep. We begin. Clark. It is now hey. your turn at initiative of 24. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're back at the top of the order then. Top of that order. <clears throat> right. Round two. Well, I'm going to move out of that. Oh, yes. That uh, is. The last thing I wanted to point out is during the last round, uh, the earth is beginning to erupt and shake underneath everyone, essentially. And that's all you know about that. Uh, continue, Clark. Uh, we are at the point now where we can know above board information about monsters, right? Uh, that is correct. You've learned three things. Okay, uh, Clarence wants to know the HP of the big worm. All right, HP, here we go. Uh, it can't be that bad, guys. Can't be that bad. Maybe we just kill the worm first. <laughs> yeah. Can't be that bad. Right? All right. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. I don't, move, I don't move, think move, anyone's dealt dead, damage but... to it yet. 
Nah, because they've no. all been wasting all their turns trying to hit Clurt, who has a cloak of displacement. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you've got. Uh, I hit it. Wait 66. a minute, I hit him. The creature has heal? 645 hit points. He didn't take what, didn't bad. I hit him? Can, can we burst the creature or can we, should we kill Clark? Uh, if, mm. if, if you did do damage to it, let me raise the cap. Um, it wasn't much, so um, it would have been at 660 <laughs> is more than likely what the hit points was. I, if can, you hit, um, Jesus. Yeah. I can try to banish uh, the worm and then we can take care of Clark. Yeah, yeah, we I'm could a do a couple surgery. You psychos, you I only claw can do it clean, dude. I'm not like you in your fucking good RP. Good RP. Come here, I, I I'll get it out of you. Good RP. You might RP. be able to hold Don't that one and banish. Come here, Clark. Come here. Can I save your life? Can everyone still see the grid? It was a little bright. Yeah, yeah, it was very bright. Yes. Okay. We move. Three. I'm gonna move another two this way. Okay, you can get some more. Those three, two. Strong that's... way, clan. <laughs> that is that is my range. He's, yep, he says as he points the bow over to you. <laughs> Stay away from me, model. You've lost it. You finally lost it. No, I finally found it. It's inside your mouth. Clark considers casting greater invisibility right now <laughs> instead. <laughs> Amazing. But uh. Yeah, he's gonna cast. What will I cast? It's been so long since I've casted a spell. Cast, uh, take your fucking cloak off. Nah. Oh god. Oh god. It has, yeah, it has been a while. It has been a while. Nah, yes, yes, yes. Nah. What kind of what kinds of things has this monster done damage wise to us? Like uh, saving throws has it done. Spot, didn't it? Throws? It did a big beam. Uh, I, so uh, <laughs> here let me Was describe that everything that you've seen. Uh, it hocked out uh, two acidic spits at uh, two random targets. Um, it slammed its body, um, jutting out this sort of rib cage like parasitic slasher out in a giant line. Uh, it's caused the ground underneath everyone to rumble. Uh, your slug tried to kill you, and right. it has we created. Didn't have any saves though, right? It has created the okay. sluggish thing, the sluggish tentacle. Hey, Brett, yes. I got a question about the way this slug's HP works. Yes. Say I casted even a first level sleep on this thing. Could I knock the slug unconscious? The, the one if in you? you? If... Ooh. Because if hold, it doesn't hold, break please. my 95 or my 81 that I Ooh, have... Ooh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, uh, and I don't knock myself out because of that, and I give, only give, use... Give me a moment. Amount. Give me a moment. Parasite becomes mm -hmm. a target. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Do, 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 do. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. Um. I will. Thank you for holding. Please yes. continue to hold. Oh yes, I will. Uh, yeah, you could. You were able to cast sleep on yourself. Excellent. Uh, and if you exceed the slug's health, but don't go beyond your own, you can yes. put the slug to sleep. The good news is, in order to go beyond my own, I would have to get over 120 because we start with the lowest health creature in the group. So mm. I would have to get an insane roll to knock myself out with it. But, yeah. Uh, so he, going, here's, oh, here's let, me, here. uh, let, me, let me correct that really quickly. The slug technically counts as part of your entity. So normally when you're aiming for specific parts of a of a monster, uh, you can't use AOE abilities, but because you're using a creative way for sleep, you're effectively the target for sleep. Yes. So 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 it would not follow the same sleep rules. It's kind of its own custom sleep rules. So the mechanic okay. the mechanic here would be you have to get your sleep number between 47 and 81. If you get above okay. 81, you're going to fall asleep. So is the slug, but right, you're yeah. going to fall also, asleep. I, how right, do we know that putting this... the parasite to sleep stops you from taking damage? Because uh, like, it's not... It, well, well, well so... I'm assuming... assuming I'm assume, Well, he's theorizing that the slug is actively trying to yeah, kill him. Yeah, that's what I'm point. saying. Like, the debilitate turn is the boss's turn. So presumably it's like telling the, the thing to writhe around or something. So yeah, if but it's if asleep, it's not awake I get to that. hear the command. Exactly. Right, right. Clark, I get Clark, that. But if Clark, it's like channeling through it, then it's different. Well, this yeah, is Clark's so, decision to make. Yeah, Clark, Clark, has, yeah. A, Clark, 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 Clark has a theory. But yeah, I just want to let you know exactly how the, 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 the <laughs> sleep mechanic is going to be a little different than what you're used to. So if you roll above 81 HP, you're going to fall asleep. 
Okay. That would be an ins I I don't even know. I that's I I think if I rolled a level six sleep, I wouldn't even break eighty one. Mm -hmm. Right, like, just, I just uh, like I, the math here. I ultimately want to make sure you have all the data so that way you can make the uh, an informed decision. Yeah. I'm just doing the math on the dice, how many dice I have. I do a level five, no, yeah, a level five sleep. That's going to be 5d8 plus another, this is a second level spell. That's uh, another 2d8, That's a correct? Lot. Yeah, it's 2d8 per level yeah. above the second level. It's a lot of d8. I need to do this right because I much can't overshoot. <laughs> yep, yep. And that's the that's the fun. That's the spicy. Well, that's if you overshoot and you put yourself to sleep, then the surgery is going to go so we'll much smoother. Take good care of you. <laughs> no, I'm going to take my chances with, with a level five sleep on Clerk. Woo, baby. That's, uh, what is that? Four times two is eight. Plus, what's the initial sleep hit it's die? It's 5d8 for, for 13 default. 13 d8. All right. Let's see how you do. All right, I'm gonna you roll it separately because you can't just cast it that way. Uh, this roll. will be fine. Don't even stress. 13. <laughs> See you all in hell. Ooh. There oh! it is. So at that point, <laughs> you're looking down, Clarent. You're panicking. You, everyone's trying to kill you, including yourself, apparently, as this as the slug is writhing within your chest. As you cast the sleep magic, you feel your body become numb. It, it almost as if above board, you're being put under currently. So you're beginning to feel paralyzed. You're losing feeling in your body. And then that feeling just fades away as the writhing of the slug within your chest stops moving. I took care of it myself. <laughs> it's dead. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's sleeping. Now's the really opportune time to kill it. We need to get it out. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I'm not gonna let him do it. He's, he's high on crack or something. I can aim. <laughs> Don't but let here, quiet uh, only one I trust to do it, please. Right now. And the only one I trust, Qua. All right. The only Claire. one who hasn't tried to kill Muttle me. Muttle takes the clean comment to heart and looks at his, like, armpits and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Claire's gonna move one step closer towards Qua. All right, got the you, movement for it. you've done and a move and action. You have a bonus action remaining. Not already scanned his uh, health. I'm done. Oh yeah, you're right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, so looking around, <laughs> getting my encounters mixed up. Ah, yes. All right, the slug. Looking at everyone at this point, will. So you're about to say the slug wakes oh, up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the slug the wakes up. Smile, isn't this fun? Cool, the, Aren't the we having fun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bardic parasite queen uh, will uh, begin sort of doing this dancing, shaking around like a gelatinous creature. Oh my uh, god, she's Fortnite dancing. Yeah, all right. I'm attacking Bree twice. I'm That's not Pikel. Oh. That's fine. What about Pikel? <laughs> not Pikel. Fine. Don't worry about it. Actual Marie. <laughs> no. Um, and it's going to, again, hawk two acidic loobies. I'm going to roll a d6 to see who the heck I'm hitting, starting from left to right. Five and a one. All right, so one of them is going to Pikel. One, two, three, four. This and is rigged. Qua is going to get hit with the first one. Try it. My freaking god! I'm 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 going to. I'm, I'm not soft shelled anymore. Thirteen yeah, to hit. Nice that doesn't try. hit. Get him out of here. I All forgot right. about the soft shell comment. <laughs> and so uh, twenty six over to Pikel. Yeah, it's not rigged. It's not rigged. it's not rigged. It's not rigged. Yeah. Twenty nine. Something acid actually damage. got through your armor class. Holy crap! Twenty nine acid. Yeah, model. As it's the as, the armor. as your as <laughs> no. the as. The acid uh, sprays across your armor. You begin to see your uh, pickle beginning to dissolve away what? into the plate. The, oh, the, the pickle oh. print. The, uh, the, uh, the On the chest plate? Yeah. yeah. All right. Generic mm -hmm. chest plate now. Nice. Well, How no, it's, it's, it's starting to. It hasn't yet. It's a little flavor. You know, just yeah, but slander. give it time for it. Yeah. Attack model. Benji next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> uh, model, it is now your turn. Um, the earth is fuck. shifting violently underneath you. Okay. Uh, my bow's range was uh, 80. was max 80, range. 80, 320, I believe. Shot. 
320 for the long long shot yeah yes. so i can still move out of the range of this yeah. if i move say like here this is under the tree right correct yeah i'm still in range i can even move a little bit away get her get her get her get her, get her. okay cool uh i'm gonna shoot wait did we just decide on whether or not we we're gonna well, Kill oh, yes. Uh, also, uh, I'll let you know this. Uh, after Clern's turn, this happens. Yeah. Oh. It begins mm -hmm. to move. Is it moving towards Pakil? That's eerie. <laughs> yeah, don't like that. Don't love that. Good thing it's on that side with the cycles. Uh, okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to scan. Okay, what would you like to know? Uh, um, gosh, minion turn. I want to see what the minion does. Uh, the conjure turn. Uh, also, if you no, want to no, no. point, conjure is, I presume, just creating them. But the minion. Turn oh, the minion is, turn is itself. Uh, excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Minion turn. Also, if you ever want to like point at a thing and be like, "What is that? Uh, what mechanic is that thing a part of?" I'll actually tell you what that is, uh, so you don't right. have to like guess. Just yeah. FYI, to help. I you mean, out. the more you tell me, the more goes in the capsule, Brett, and the more fucked you are in this encounter. <laughs> <laughs> loop, big loop up. Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, you call from a time capsule you read from our year 2021, but the oh, minion fuck. turn is the following: copy paste, copy paste. Motor now also turn. knows what a PlayStation 5 is, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the minion, the <laughs> minion turn is, I don't think we've introduced in this campaign, uh, goes on an aftermath. An aftermath, effectively, is something that happens at the end of every player's turn. So if a player ends their turn, this happens afterwards. Uh, at the end of each player's turn, parasite tentacles move up to five feet in any direction. If they end their turn mm. in a creature square, they may attack with parasitic drain. And then I will let you know what Parasitic Drain does now. Oh, sweet. That's value on that scan. Parasitic Drain, at the end of the round, the creature the, the Parasite Tentacle is sharing a space with, uh, must succeed a Constitution saving throw DC 17 to be dealt 3d6 true damage or half on a successful save. Damage dealt from this heals the Bardic Parasite Queen. Okay, the healing part kind of sucks, but so they move five feet every player at, turn at the at the end of every player's turn they move five okay. feet that's not that bad we could run away from one yeah but if if she starts conjuring a bunch of them it's gonna be a lot and if she starts making more of those aoe's on the ground yeah but those rough terrain uh these spots beneath Cur these Cur currently no uh you, are you talking about the uh the shake the, the ground yeah. shake yeah. currently no all that is mm. signifying is the earth is shaking it's trembling it probably will be soon guys. yeah i want to i'm gonna shoot at the tentacle i think okay uh, uh 25 hits dealing oh that's a lot well not the not the sneak attack correct no no sneak attack because i'm wait sneak attack i'm not hidden from it am i uh no you're not because you haven't taken a hide action yet well yeah i, I i've used my bonus so i can't so yeah that's that's yeah. my damage yes uh let me also go ahead and show you the hit points uh da ding uh okay so 21 will hit and 17 points of damage I don't think we're going to be able to kill all of them if she summons a bunch, but we should ta tactically take them out. Good thinking. Uh, give me one second. I got I to... Gotta... Ah, yes. Thank you. God, I knew I actually got that somewhere. It's not 50. It's 40. 40 hit Shit. points. Yeah, is that a guy's got a hit points of 40. Nice. Uh, all right, so that is your bonus attack, attack, and you move. Anything else you'd like to do? I don't know if you have any movement nope, left. Nope, that's my turn. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, Skagzag, you share a turn with the Bardic Parasite Queen. Would you like to take your turn first, or would you like the Parasite Queen to go first? Uh, I think I'll go first. Okay. It is your round. The Earth shifts underneath you. All right, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move right over here and I'm going to catapult it. Okie dokie. 
Uh, what level uh, are you casting it at? And what are you catapulting? Uh, I'm going to catapult a rock on the ground. All right. Legending catapult. That's right. It's broken. I totally forgot. We need uh, to fix that. Um, you have your <laughs> character sheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to do uh, fifth level. Okay. Woo. My God. Boom. All right. 25 points of bludgeoning. I feel like that is not. That's some bad ones there. That's like some. Uh, yeah. yeah that's two uh... ones. Is it one, two? <laughs> Yeah, can uh, I? You guys don't have. Remember well, hold on. We I, have, I, like, yeah, well, uh, continue, uh, Krendor. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I spend like sorcery points or lucky or something? Yeah, there's a. There, I believe you have an ability, and we haven't done it in a minute. Um, that allows you to reroll ones. Yeah. Uh, do do you remember what that was called? Uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah, it's like yeah, a quiz. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> empowered spells. It's a quiz for me as well. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> one sorcery point to re-roll roll a uh, number of damage. Uh, three, uh, dice. three dice. Three dice. Yeah. So you, and I no. got sorcery points. Yes, you do. That's and then one. we're going to do some wild magic twice. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. I got you. Uh, okay, so you can roll up to three dice. You currently have two ones and a two as your lowest dice. Are you yeah, rolling re-roll all those? You're going to re-roll them. those, all of them? Okay. Yep. Uh, re-roll 3d6 uh, slash roll space 3d6. Um, and your four damage Another will turn one. into 10 damage. So, uh, four, 10, six bonus damage. You're now doing 31 points of bludgeoning damage. Good work, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, that's not bad. Right. Now do me a favor and roll a d20 twice. An eight. And a 14. Yeah, man, you rolled so fast. Mm. I wasn't. I, I I was still waiting for that. Okay, so an eight is nothing. Okay. And a 14. That Skagzag TM Fog Cloud begins to <laughs> spread <laughs> around the area. <laughs> nice. Oh, All right. yeah. All right, Fog Cloud. Let me go and take a peek. That's a 20 foot radius. Um, so, uh, some fun things I found out about wild magic, uh, fog, um, normally fog cloud is a, I believe a concentration spell. Yes. is a concentration spell up to an hour. Um, however, because this is the effect of wild magic, it does not follow the same rules as, um, uh, concentration because technically it is not skag zags, uh, fog cloud, which means for an hour, this fog cloud is just going to be sitting there. Nice. Oh, Love it all. <laughs> Not <Love> really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Love eye fun. of the beholder. Uh, so, <laughs> so currently, uh, Skagzag, uh, anything that is outside the f- well, I, actually, you're just blind. You are technically blinded right now. Yes! As you're within the fog. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, First time, uh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> First time, huh? Uh, okay, uh, checking something real quick. You have a bonus action remaining. Um, I will, uh, uh, what are the things I can learn about it again? Unfortunately, you can't learn anything. You are blinded by the fog cloud. All right. <laughs> um, can <laughs> I sit down and contemplate reality in the fog cloud? No, um, absolutely, you can do that. You've moved. <laughs> That'll only- be my bonus. <laughs> side. Yo, well, okay. Just so you're aware, you've only moved 15 feet. Not telling you what to do. Um, and as a goblin, uh, I believe you have several things you can do with your bonus action. Uh, nice. Nimble escape. Never mind. There's there's literally nothing else you can do. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you can contemplate life. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? You still have movement remaining. No, I did move. You moved 15 feet. You still have uh, more movement remaining. Do you have 15 feet left? He has 15 There's... feet left. You can actually break up your movement, so you can like move, cast a spell, oh, and keep moving. Oh, I didn't know like, that. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. 15 uh... foot gets you just to the edge of the cloud, but that's still technically in the cloud, right? Uh, well, no, technically at that point in time, he can peek out the cloud if he'd like. Oh, shit. Sure. All right, I'll go right there. Get a little half in there. Peek out in the cloud. Yeah, peek hard. out that cloud. Uh, I this one more 70, 30. All right. Uh, and, and now uh, you can see the parasite queen would you like to scan uh, with a bonus action 
I mean, I already... Oh, I guess I didn't sit down and contemplate. I mean, so I you, well, you could learn, though, if you contemplate reality, though. Yeah, yeah that's true. true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, what can I learn? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, uh, the list is currently within uh, your chat. I will refresh the list for you guys. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Here's all the things you can learn, including uh... the copy-paste of the uh, debilitate term. I want to learn about the parasite slug. Oh. We've done that one. I feel like oh, we, we actually do know that. Yeah, yeah we've we, done you, parasite slugs. Yeah, you, you, you have done that one. That is no. a DM error. My apologies. Stuff. My uh, that was we've a done DM error. You've done tauntable. That is correct. Um, these are all from up there. I want to so. learn we about the a battlefield turn, and I think that's what's happening beneath us right now. Oh, is it? All right, let's learn the battlefield. That's battlefield. All right, battlefield turn goes on an initiative of 10. Let me copy and paste this and let you know what that does. Battlefield turn of 10. Uh, at the beginning of the battlefield turn, if parasitic rupture circles are on the battlefield, which they are, it's the rumbling earth underneath you, all creatures uh, in those ruptures are attacked with parasitic surge. The rupture circles becomes bardic parasite uh, queen calluses. Uh, and now that you've scanned this, uh, you can all scan for the calluses trait. Um... At the end of the Bardic uh, Parasite Queen uh, Queen's uh, turn of the uh, battlefield uh, turn, uh, she creates uh, more Parasitic Bursts, which is the Trembling Earth. Mm, okay. All right. All Sounds right. good to me. Neat, uh, neat. Okay. Skagzag, that ends your turn, which means now it is the Parasite uh, Bardic Queen, she will look over to the Chisel Hyena. Come at me, lady. Come uh, at me, lady. She is absolutely about to come at you. Nice. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, she's going to attack you with a parasitic surge. A 500 foot line will come out of her. Whoa. Didn't, didn't that happen before? Yep. And now yep. it's happening again because it is round two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and she will slam the body, her body down. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Parasitic Surge. Excellent. Please make a dexterity save of DC 17 or take 50 damage. Well, you are uh, you are raging, which means you are currently taking half damage. Uh, I actually I didn't rage. I haven't raged yet. Oh, well, in that case, this might uh, knock yeah. you out if you fail your dexterity save. Uh, I knock you out of knock you out of your your wild uh, knock you out of your wild form. Correct. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, correct. Dexterity save, saving throw, dexterity. Police. No. That is a that is a double fail. This uh, is a mighty sad day. So at that point in time, you will uh, revert back into Cheezel, uh, taking Rude. eight points of damage. Uh, where I will allow you to choose any of these four squares that you shrink down to. This right there. fine. Yep. All right, eight points of damage. Okay, you are you are still there. You're you, you've reverted back uh, outside of your hyena form. I got one more of those in me. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, nice little nice little wild shape uh, wild shape shield. Uh, okay, uh, nothing else behind there. We shall continue on. Uh, Pikel, you share a round. You share a turn with the parasite queen. Would oh you like God, to go I'm first? So honored. Or yes. would you? Fuck the bitch. Okay. All right. Excellent. <laughs> also, <laughs> no. Brett, I'm keeping uh, notes on the boss, so you only need to post it in roll 20 now. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Um, after, um, sorry, I keep forgetting this. After Model's turn, this moves five feet. And then after Skagzag's turn, now that this, oh yeah, there it would have moved. It would have moved over here. And then the fog came through. Uh, so it's just gonna keep shifting. Still gonna keep moving. All right. Uh, Pikel, okay. it's your turn. That ruins my plans. Um, let's see here. Can I do? 
We haven't seen her move yet, right, guys? No, they've no. been stationary. Mm -mm. Okay. We don't know if they can move with a, it with a yeah. sort of form a stationary like that. blob. I mean, this arena is a circle. Well, a the, the tentacle might be, they might be like rooted into the ground yeah. and the tentacle's coming up. Yeah. Mm. Okay, in that case, um, I will do, actually, am I even in range for that? Yeah, Move? you are. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you for the confidence. Um, I guess I'll just do a guiding bolt on, okay. uh, on the queen. Uh, okay. Uh, I have to check. I have to do something real quick to see if you can even see her. Oh. Because a oh, giant. If I, can, if I can't see her, I would move but also doesn't well, guiding bolt you move anyways you're underneath an aoe thing i'm gonna i was gonna at the end of my turn um oh, you could just... all right so yeah. i'm uh cool. i right now i'm just drawing a dynamic light circle i mean pikel would not have tried to attack her if she couldn't see right of course that's why yeah. i i wanted to let you know okay so the the lighting is down one moment and i'm about to start this disco party here we go a skadoosh. All right, what yeah. can you okay. what can you see? Kel's gonna move here. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that um, fog wall is obnoxious. Um, <laughs> I see what, is that, what was the combat benefit of that? It's uh, the wild magic. One involuntary I see. I see. Has never yeah. been a benefit to fog. We've never seen it help uh, once. <laughs> no, it's helped. It's helped. No, you had the Cosmo fog. That was pretty. The Cosmo good fog time. doesn't count. <laughs> the Cosmo fog's not with us anymore. Rest in peace. All right. <laughs> um, All right. It was a 15 to hit. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, that just misses. Yikes. Oh, good to know. Okay. Any luckies? Mm. Luckies? Uh, no, I didn't take lucky because I am no bitch. Um, yeah. oh, what the fuck oh, did you what? just say? <laughs> 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 I bet you take that back before you regret it. <laughs> I'm taking nothing back and I'm staying here and that's the end of my turn because I can't oh. do anything else. Uh, you have <laughs> a uh, bonus action remaining, is that correct? Yeah, but because I tried to cast a spell, I can't do a cantrip, right? Oh yeah, you can, you, you can still do a cantrip if you have a way to quit. Because the it? spell didn't pop off? Yeah, I mean, or... as long as long, oh. you, can't, you can't cast two... Mm -hmm. You can't cast two numbered spells. So if you do a cantrip and then like a bonus action spell or the other way around, you're able to yeah. do that. It well, just can't be two actions. Within range. Your have... bonus action cantrip though. I think I can. Hold on. So I have, I've moved 20 feet. I'm on my dog, so I have 20 more feet moving. 5, 10, 15, 20. Kacha. I don't believe there are any bonus action cantrips though. That's the thing. Sacred flame, right? Is that Sacred another flame. bonus? Nope. Shit, fuck. Okay. That would that would <laughs> be pretty cool. Like I said, I was confident ending my turn over oh, here. <laughs> all right, okay. Sounds good. You uh, and you said end turn, I could correct? Scan uh Did we find out we found out minion turn, right? Yep. Yeah. Do action, action turn? Or, yeah. yeah, let's do action turn. Here's your minion turn in case uh, we needed that Thank again. Thank you. Yeah, Welcome. Did. Action turn. Hmm. Excellent. Uh, so, on an initiative of 20. Oh, yeah, let me, actually, uh, let me add the battlefield turn, which is going to happen after Ikel. Battlefield turn happens at a 10. And yep. the action turn happens on a 20. 20. All right. So. Let's get scary. Uh, during no. initiative of 20, the action, uh, the, uh, oh, hold on. If in. Oh, oh by right. the way, Greg, you know, if Quad dies, you have to make a Goblin Paladin. Just a heads up, that's oh, the yeah, rule. Oh, yeah, it's luck. Yeah, we made that rule. Yeah. Uh, so, on initiative name. of 20, uh, Parasite Queen attacks with three Parasitic Slashers if an enemy creature is in melee range or two Acid Spit. Okay. 
And here is the Parasitic Slashers. The Parasitic Slasher plus 9 to hit. 46 plus 3 slashing damage. Acid Spit uh, attacks in a line. So whatever the first target it hits uh, is a range of 120 feet plus 9 to hit. 78 acid damage. The inner line just says whatever the first target is within the range of one. Okay. Epic. All right. Uh, that ends your round. So oh now it is the battlefield turn. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Uh, Stu's oh, no, Stu! <laughs> no. Stu's, Stu's corpse He's is dead, about to man. be decimated disintegrated i hope mm. i mean that's good that's a burial <laughs> yeah, yeah. i guess i can't believe they left like him that. out here dude. yeah all right so the everyone that's within the area uh, with those areas are going to make dexterity saves uh uh parasitic surge 51 okay and then so that's a deck save good to know yep to get the frick out of the way as you just see all of these like bow like this parasitic bones jutting out of all the areas that's been shaken shooketh shooketh oh yeah all right and then i the battlefield is forever going to change My brain died one moment. Happens to the best of us. Yes. As giant calluses are now going to form. Whoa. What? Where? This thing must be big. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it. Man, you know, when it comes to fights like, like this, we are very good at running. That's what we know. <laughs> That looks like something that's just been bit crushed, Brett. <laughs> yeah. There's something in there. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> and then dynamic lighting time. Mm, dynamic lighting. Because these are giant calluses. That oh, will I'm act fucking. <laughs> bye, guys. Yeah, bye, bye. bye. Finally, Quan, <laughs> I'm alone for my surgery. <laughs> I'm sealed. What the fuck? Nurse, I need You're too powerful, model. <laughs> no. Wait, so the fog's also hit? The fog's my only way out. Oh yep, my god. The fog is your only way out. Yeah. Just go by. Fuck. Here, you me, can't uh... go below and around? No, they, they, they are perfectly sealing me in. Oh, shit. Dude. That's oh, fucked. Oh, <laughs> That's really all right. Fucked. Um, because the, uh, calluses were made, uh, there will not be another, uh, parasitic rupture. That'll happen next round, smile. Uh, so, the debilitate turn happens, and because the parasitic, parasitic slug is currently asleep, no damage will be de dealt to Clarence. Boss, nice. it is now your turn. All right, um... Is scanning a bonus action or is it just its own thing now? Bonus action. Bonus shit. Have we already scanned the worm for like condition immunity? Did we check that? We, we didn't do condition immunities, we did damage resistance. What kind of damage resistance did it have? Slashing. Yeah. Did we not condition do condition immunity? Because I thought good. we checked I thought we checked if it could be banished. I or not. if you condition immunity checked, I could uh unsettling words nah, well, into the thing is, confusion the thing is if i scan i basically can't perform surgery <laughs> right what was your plan for surgery though well i needed to know if i could poison it or not and then i was gonna have my snake bite it huh. this is the guy you wanted clan yeah, I'm gonna guy regret poison that. <laughs> i might just stick with keeping it asleep it's gonna poison Dang, as long as no one hits it and i think i'm guessing if clint takes any damage and jostles he, it's gonna or, or yells too loudly right, so yeah. you don't want me to hit it this turn well if your idea was poison i don't know these guys uh, seem to be doing fine. acid and sort of poison damage right. quiet order of business oh, as a reaction actually first order of business hold your uh -huh. action it is actually because of the shift. I almost screwed this up. Uh, Cheezle. Cheezle goes on initiative six. Cheezle, it's your turn oh. first. Well, well, well. 
Uh, Sorry, I'm going to uh, use my rage. Whee! And um, I'm going to use the awesome power. I'm not going to change yet. Question. Is yes. the goop on the ground? Is that the it's brown? Dirt. It's uh, churned earth, so it is hindering terrain. Great. I'm going to go. I'm going to like oop dee to here. Okay. So I don't get hindered none. And then I'm going to use Steven, Axe of the Fungazoid. Bah! Oh my God. Three times. One. Oh, yeah. If you, you have to use your. Yeah, it broke. Yeah, you use your uh, DD Beyond character. A thousand apologies. I don't, Plastic. I don't, a thousand apologies. I don't, I don't have these. I am. Uh, it says I, unarmed. What? Huh? It says eh? unarmed. Huh? Uh, eh? Eh? Cool. Uh, Give me, give me, uh, eh. give me, you, you, you got it. Yeah, give me one second. Eh. I don't know how to do this for you. It's, 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 it's uh, okay. Uh, refresh your character sheet and you should see it in your action. Oh, I have refreshed right now. Oh, there's Steven X, the fungazoid. Let's go, there, Steven. There you are. This axe is actually incredibly powerful. This could kill this thing all on its own. It's I pretty, hope so. It's pretty awesome. I got oh, yeah. Does he also 20? have coding now to put on it? Uh, do you? How come it's not rolling? Is, are you on a new computer? No, I don't. I just it, I rolled and it. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing no, wrong it's, here. It's pal. not. Uh, no worries. Uh, well, I'm seeing in the chat the in the fucking D and D Beyond, and it's saying Cheezle's rolling in D and D Beyond. Not yeah. Do, do you have Beyond Twenty installed? If you Let's pretend that, I do. Well, well surely he does. He's been rolling this whole campaign. Yes. Uh, just go ahead and uh, add that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been added. All right. Uh, refresh and re-roll. I, uh, I, uh, we will accept the twenty as the first roll. Thank, you. thank you, Daddy. Okay. Now welcome. the next one. Yes. Well, I mean, so roll again, and then we'll roll the damage. So whatever you roll now, and then uh, sure, refresh. sure, 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 sure. Yeah. There we There's go. There's a new one. All right. So Another new, thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, 14 points of slashing damage uh, will be reduced down to seven. 19 hits. Uh, and click the name in roll 20 for me. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, reduced down to eight. And yes, it does have the coating. I thought Chizo was a hyena. Uh, Chizo was and then got murdered. Oh, I can't see. So. No, it's he was all... murdered. <laughs> And five points of slashing as you go into a, and then for rage, your rage is four damage. Is that correct? Uh, currently, my rage gives plus three to melee damage. Oh, I see. All right, then three. So that's one, one. Okay, and that's not another three points of damage. All right. Wait, what level barbarian are you? Uh, level ten, right? We're all ten. Ra ten rage should two. be rage should be four oh, at that level. I'm eleven. Well, oh wait, no, the damage, way. right? I thought I was talking about how many rages you got. Okay. Yeah, I get four rages, but it says three damage. Three damage, yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, four damage happens at like sixteenth level. All right, perfect. Uh, you've attacked three times. Let me also check your axe very quickly. Uh, once per combat on a successful attack, you may choose to apply a fungal growth on spending. I uh, choose to. All right, if uh, you begin to see uh, mushrooms and fungus sprout upon the slug queen, I'm gonna, mm. go, I'm gonna go ahead and. So, as a friendly reminder. Uh, upon spending the gr you may spend a the growth any of you may spend the growth uh, you may re-roll an attack roll uh, this may be re-rolled after the result of the roll is determined if you take the new yum number the fungal growth is spent this is for anyone including nice. clerics with guiding bolts cough hack cough all right oh <laughs> he's sick with drunk Nani? No, I'm sorry, yeah. coughing a lot yeah I got a lot of coughing going on a lot uh, of coughing <laughs> Lock coffin. Uh, okay, so you moved. You spent your action. Uh, is rage a bonus action? Mm, yes, sir. All right, then. Unless, or would you like to move anymore? No, I'm gonna stay right here between everyone. Ah, yes. Good. All right. 
Uh, that turn ends. Qua, it's your turn. So just to work clear, we don't want to wake up the worm. I don't think so. The one in club. Mm. Any, so damage, any damage dealt to the worm will awaken it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now I am operating the assumption 10, that... 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I will as an action. Also at the end of Cheezle's turn, sorry, uh, the, the something <laughs> shifts within the fog. Continue, Qua. That worm be moving. Um, I'm going to use my, uh, what the fuck is it called? Symbiotic entity to spend a wild shape to instead get 36 temp HP. Ooh. Um, and a bunch of other bullshit that's not applicable right now. Okay. And then I will bonus action scan the worm. What would you like to know? I guess condition immunity. Wait. I think that's the one. Bro, I have a question I just thought of. That determines banishment stuff too, right? Yeah. Uh, condition immunity. Charmed, exhaustion, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, and poisoned. Hey, it's a good thing I didn't oh, do what I did. good, yeah. Nice. Uh, yes, tomato. Uh, I, because it seems like for hitting this worm in my chest, everyone's just planning on beating the shit out of Clarent until it is dead or Clarent is dead. Does that mean that if I'm taking like physical strikes from this fucking big worm, it could damage the small worm as well? If it was aiming towards the worm, yes. Otherwise, open your if mouth. I, just what open if, your mouth. What if when an attack was coming at me, I could somehow move the worm in the way of the attack with my body? <laughs> if you it's spend a user, reaction, right? if you spend a reaction to do that, I will allow it. Sweet. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> but, but you, will, you, you get will a also... free reaction every turn. That's that's yeah. good. But uh, you, you, but but at that point in time, whatever damage is dealt to the worm is still dealt to you. Oh yes. Okay. I'm just, I, I'm just trying to figure out as many creative ways to I'm fucking deal with sure things. I'm starting aware, to realize yeah. we don't really have the time to get this yeah. thing. Out. Just we let really... me at it. No, no, no. <laughs> now I'm ready. Big one. You don't All even right. know, dude. All right. Uh, Qua. Wait, Brett, can you confirm where the the, the parasite is? Is is it in his uvula? It's in my chest. Oh, right now, all you tummy. see is a growth in in, in Clarence's chest. That right, is a gross little growth. Yeah. I'll poke it. If you poke Next it. turn, man. Just, I'm letting you know. No, you're not going to get another mercy turn. Next turn, I'm swinging <laughs> at it. Mercy turn. What do you mean? Yeah. My next turn, I'm doing greater invisibility on myself. What is wrong with you? You, you better, dude. You <laughs> and then what? You, it eats you out from the inside and while you're dude, invisible. We like... attack the big worm. Why are we going to nah. waste my sleep? All right, uh, I've got right. a minute of this. Cool. Uh, do you okay? That bonus action, action, all move. Turn, all right, so uh, Qua at the end of your realm, the fog stirs as something within it begins to shift underneath. Um, Skagzag, Skagzag, uh, you feel uh, one of the parasites wrapping around your leg and trying to s drain you of all your life essence. I need eh. you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Well, would Skagzag okay. even notice something wrapping around his leg? Uh, he will. Amnesia. Based he... on the black bar that we've seen. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> yikes. 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 Big yikes. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, you'll take nine points of true damage. Uh, everyone. Hey, gang. Uh, you begin to see the parasite queen as her wounds begin to close up. Clarence, it's yes. your turn. Uh, oh, hey. well, Clarence, before you go, sorry, one more thing. Eh. Uh, I need to do a thing. It wakes up, doesn't it? There's something horrible. No, 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 no. I would just let you know that. Mm. Yes. What are yes. You doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, you will see. Yep. Uh, you will see something shifting in the ground behind you as a parasitic tentacle uh, erupts out, the same one that you oh. saw before. What do you look at that? Corn, now it's your turn. Those parasitic tentacles, I can't remember if they carry over, like if we kill one, if it detracts that health from the main boss or not. Sure. Uh, I will let you know uh, that it does. It we does. didn't know okay. that before. We weren't told that. Okay, so if I kill that thing for 40, the boss will take 40. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely well, it, worth it to kill it, these. 
it will take true damage. You don't know how much damage is dealt to the yes, boss. Yes, but it will take. It will be taking damage, and therefore I'm not wasting turns damaging one thing. But this, mm -hmm. uh, that can't really keep up with me. Plus, it heals Honestly, with them, so yeah. Uh, fuck! I really wanna. I really wanna do the big boy play. You can do it. You're a big boy. I think it's time to do a big boy play. Ooh, big God. boy play. There's a lot of garbage in this arena. A lot of things. A lot of inanimate <laughs> objects, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Right. And perhaps right. I would like yeah, to yeah, six yeah. level animate. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sure. Six, six level animate. Yikes. You guys are wild in combat. <laughs> Fogs, moving stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. with a six level animate. Uh huh. I have. This is actually. This is a lot, so I have to like go through it very carefully to make sure I don't get my math wrong. What what size and object would you like to move? I'm 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 doing the math because with six level I get more objects. Ah. Uh, but before I would cast it, I would confirm that there are huge objects to animate. <laughs> I would uh, want something on a larger moment, side. Please. What about the the giant plumes that just came out of the ground? Can you hit uh, him with his own calluses? Um. <laughs> It's, those seem, those seem animate. <laughs> Wait, really? I thought I will, they, uh, I My will, understanding was they're like big rocks. Uh, with a, uh, so you're doing large? I can go all huge. the way up to huge. Ah, oh, huge. In that case, I will allow you to move the trees that are within the courtyard. <laughs> oh, Wait, hold on. This is just fucking druidic magic with yeah, more <laughs> than whatever. This is some she... bullshit. <laughs> you're appropriating our yeah. culture. That makes you angry, doesn't it, Qua? You're gonna, yeah. you're gonna, you're gonna do something about that, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna poison I'm that gonna little hit him right in his fucking bulbous yeah. belly. <laughs> okay, so I can do one huge object, and I can also animate. Uh, I'm just two building the medium I'm, objects. I'm, uh, I'm just building the stat block. If that is what you end up deciding to do. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you end up doing. Yeah, I'm just doing the math. One huge is eight. Mediums are two. Yep. Okay. I'm animating one huge object. So I'm animating a tree and I'm animating two medium things like medium sized rocks or uh, okay. furniture. Like that. Benches. That. Yeah, that so. that I do have. So animate object huge. I'm going to edit the sheet directly. Uh, this thing has 80 hit points, 10 AC because it's fucking thick, uh, 18 strength and a six dexterity. Uh huh, and then it attacks with. I'm just making this object really fucking quick. Uh, arise, tree. <laughs> tree, arise. arise. Plus eight uh, to hit. Uh, this yep. will be attacked with. Uh, I'm just gonna call it a slam. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna say it's bludgeoning damage because it's gonna attack with branches. Uh, it's going to do. 2d12. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it myself. 2d12 and uh and then i'm gonna make some macros real quick yes maybe i'll just have my own giant tree rip the worm out of me what self-surgery <laughs> you're gonna I'm call gonna, it tronco I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm not doing anything with the worm until it wakes up i don't think there's much of a point it'll just wake Dude, up did you know there's a I'm guy that did surgery on himself yeah out of you Huh? Yeah, there was. He, he did his own just appendix. In general? Yeah, he took his appendix out. Yeah. That's intense. It is pretty crazy. Look, mm -hmm. either way, we should hold fight, like trying to deal with the parasite worm until after I'm done with animate objects cause its concentration. Um, hmm. Oh, that's why. You'll see it. I can't. All right, let me go ahead and fix this real quick. All right, so... Motherfucker. Uh, hey, if you select the tree, uh, do you see a slam attack? <laughs> uh, I can't select it from here. This this tree? I, I should not, have given I'm you. I'm clicking on it. I'm not getting anything on it. Uh, one second. Sorry. It's fine. This is one of the most complicated spells I think you ever have to deal with. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? That's probably why um, we're not getting it. So I'm just gonna. Oop. Nope. Whatever. Remove. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Now I can move him. Now you can move him. Okay, but you don't. You don't see. Do not have slam yet. No. Yeah, you don't have a, a slam macro. Okay, so and if that's the case, then I am simply just gonna 
leave this open and whenever you want to slam i'm just gonna i can actually do the attack from uh my oh perfect yeah just do not... yeah do that do that perfect perfect all right and you want two mediums that yeah. I are that i do already have for you i was assuming it'd be like the little benches or something yeah 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 so it'll uh to the two mediums at that point i'll uh, be like little rocks uh that you'll have so that's animate large animate huge and you said me oh. <laughs> okay all right yeah and then you already have it in uh, D, D beyond correct yep okay then in that case i'm just gonna go ahead um add some rocks add little rock tokens that you can control and move around uh, you know, like Power Rangers, can can the tree pick up the benches like gauntlets and fucking fight with them? <laughs> I wish. I've been playing too much Dark Souls, man. Not everything's a weapon. <laughs> it could be. Yeah, but it could be if you swung it. Yes. Um, Arise! All right, Tomato. Can you control those two rocks for me? Yes, I can. All right, put them where you would conjure it. <laughs> that fucking tree. Uh, all right, yep, there it is. I would definitely, I mean, I assume if rocks would be closer to the edge of the area anyways, because I see like a rock there, I see a rock yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I mean so pretty much the way I'm looking at any main object at this point in time, you're rupturing out uh, chunks of earth of where actual solidified earth and rocks oh, okay. are. So as long if as we're doing it that way, as I long as these within, two rocks right on top of this fucking that's perfect no, yeah as long as it's within the range of your spell i will allow you to essentially conjure up those medium those medium-sized rocks that sounds good okay All that right. is your action uh i don't remember if you took a bonus action or not uh, uh my bonus action is now my objects i okay. can command all three of them simultaneously with bonus actions sounds good and let me just check what the what i'm guessing the speed is uh yeah 30 feet okay this tree's going in. <laughs> this tree. <laughs> this tree's going in. Uh, Qua, Qua, get out of the way. Qua, you see a giant law tree <laughs> begin walking mm. over you. <laughs> the trees are going to yeah. war. Hang on, I gotta do the math again. And I will follow. <laughs> <laughs> so the tree will get to here, yeah. barreling towards the worm <laughs> at breakneck speed. At the same time, uh, these two rocks are going to start beating the shit out of this tentacle over here. Do it. There's one attack. Uh, there's the 15 other. 15 misses, but the uh, 13 hits. The uh, 25 hits, the critical hit, for 13 points of damage as the rock slams down upon the tentacle. Nice. Flair's going to start to... Uh, also, he's going to move himself now. Uh towards the now vacant spot where a tree that is correct. once was. That is correct. Uh, go that way. Imagination. All right. Is your round over? Yes. All right. You will see this tentacle begin to shift away. And then I need Skagzag. Your blood continues to be drained. Please make a constitution saving throw. You succeed. Mm -hmm. No damage is dealt. Uh, action turn. Uh, currently, a target is within melee of the uh, of the parasitic queen. Uh, so she is going to attack Cheezel three times with parasitic slasher. Cheezel, your AC is a 17. Oh, that's pretty, uh, pretty good. That's pretty good. Here we go. Um, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think my uh, my rocks take attacks of opportunity. Do they? Do they have reactions? I think they do. I'm re I'm looking. I'm looking it up right now. Uh, As a bonus action, you can command that. them to attack, but that I, I that's the bonus action commands them to attack. I don't believe they provoke attacks of opportunity. Yeah, I'm on a... I went on to... Okay, no, you're right. Okay. Excellent. There's so much writing in this spell piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome like to spell novel. casting. Yahoo! Uh, Parasitic Slashers are go! Um, as you'll begin to see, uh, its teeth will just tear out of its mouth and slashing and slobbering on a cacophony of, of biting here we go 27 to hit 15 misses 14 misses only one hits jesel for eight points of damage because he is currently raging god she's <laughs> so fucking tough the stupid dumb monster god she's a dumb idiot stupid 
Oh. It's finally a fight that Sheezil can tank. We haven't had a fight where something does slashing damage in eons. <laughs> well, slashing, piercing, or bludgeoning. Uh, model. True. Model, Hello. Uh, you are... The walls are closing in, model. Your salvation, yeah. a fog. <laughs> that is just <laughs> permanently there for them. the remainder of the fight. Um, okay. This is gonna be, it's hard to, to gauge out the distances when I can't see, so I'm just gonna have to kind of eyeball it. Yeah, yeah. Or you're just gonna have to start moving. Oh, oh All I right. see, yeah. Cause I yeah, that, um, right. I was about to warn you, if you're moving in the fog, you can't back out of it unless you're spending movement. You have right now spent 10 feet of movement. Yeah. And you are now within the fog. Oh my fucking god, dude. Okay. <laughs> um. There is, uh, I will let you know that there is a tentacle currently down there. Um, I have to check this every time. Uh, if you try to attack the tentacle now that is, uh, currently at, um, uh, currently at Skagzag's feet, uh, you will do so at a disadvantage because you are currently blinded by the fog. You can still move through what it. What a though. legend. Blinded by the fog. By 30. Okay. And by blinded, you have a general Wait. idea of where things are, so you can still move. Oh, my speed is 40. And 40. Okay. And then dash. Okay. Five. 15. You come <gasps> out at the other <gasps> side of the fog. 15. <sighs> 25. 30. 35. 40. Holy fuck. Okay. So that was my bonus action. Wait. I get to dash with my bonus action because I'm a... A but I could spend my action. Yeah, do I want to hit or do I want to scan something? I probably want to hit him. I probably want to start hitting this guy. Yeah, I'm going to just shoot the boss. Okay. You hit him. Um, are you planning to hit him at all with, with anything like Guiding Bolt 3? I absolutely could if you want to coordinate. That'd be super. Do, I could hold, yeah, I'm going to hold Let's my action. Let's freaking do it. I'm going to hold my action to shoot him with my bow. As a friendly yeah. reminder, it still has a fungus grind on it so that you can re-roll and attack roll if you miss. We can choose that we can choose that whenever we want, right? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I'll hold that hold action like a for vulnerability, now. vulnerability, but better. All yeah, right. I'll hold action for now. Okie dokie. Model, you are done. Uh, at the end Loose. of the round, the tendrils begin to move. And once again, Skagzag, constitution saving throw, please. Whee! That is a success. Woo! Skagzag's constitution, amazing. Uh, Skagzag, would you like to go or would you like the Parasite Queen to go? Is there really any benefit to letting the Parasite Queen go? Depends on what their move is. Uh, Depends on what you want to do. Skagzag's more of a gentleman uh. in that case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll make you look better. Ladies first. Oh boy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I want Skagzag with the top hat now. With a fedora. Well, fedora, yeah. Someone draw that, please. My lady. <laughs> My lady. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, fedora Skagzag will let the queen go first. Oh, okay then. Fuck yeah. All right. Iconic. Well. <laughs> please hold. All right, uh, it is going to surge out parasitic slashers towards Cheezel. Classic. Please make a dexterity saving throw. Please succeed. Come on, baby. Come, baby. On. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> that does not succeed. Uh, you will oh. take 22 points of damage because, again, oh my God. raging. Wait, what? All oh, right, yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Skagzag, <laughs> you may now go. Thank you, thank you. Um. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's. Uh, well, I'm gonna step out of the fog. I think. Mm, yes. I think that's a play. And is the play. then. Let's see here. Did we determine what the its vulnerabilities are? Uh, I think. No, we 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 saw what. Anything what it's we've not determined is to. in the thing that NG has right now. Yeah, you see uh, the ones that are highlighted, like white. Yeah. That's the ones we know, and next to it is what we know about it. But we know what it's immune to, or not immune to, sorry, um, by by extrapolation. But then, 
it's resistant to slashing, so. We haven't learned about immutable form or exposed hide yet. Um, yeah. oh, uh, actually, I take it back. And I, I'll oh. need you to remember this uh, as well, Jesse. Uh, Jesse, you have a trait or a class feature known as Danger Sense, which gives you advantage on dexterity saving throws. You get that's this right. at level two. We'll oh my remember. freaking god! So <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a barbarian thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's a barbarian you get that thing. Uh, yeah. How many times does that come up? Well, I just I haven't I don't that's see so that at gross. all on any of my things. Oh yeah, well if you go to your features, features and, and traits and you will see everything that you can do. I'm just like imagining like some of the earlier times when Jeezel was like a corpse getting eaten by a giant space worm. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know what you're... No, it's all good. Do you see features and traits on your character sheet? Yeah. Um. So you can scroll. So you see barbarian features and there's like a scroll down bar. Yeah. I mean, I, all right. Yeah. It's there. And then, I never and then, oh, knew that. Oh, yeah. No At worries. At least we know now. Now you know. Because that's huge. <laughs> yeah, never had a clue from level two. You Ru said uh, level, yeah. yeah, level two. Uh, rules lawyers uh, have finally come up and said, "Excuse me." You also have reckless you. attack. I don't know if you've uh, ever done that before. Uh, has he? I don't Today's know. been a learning experience. What's that do? Uh, <laughs> reckless attack. Very uh, powerful uh, reckless attack allows him to attack at advantage, but then any attacks made against him are also at advantage. Uh. No, I ain't done that. Dude, I'm like scampering over to my features and traits section and scrolling down because I'm wondering if I, I have like a move that's like, oh yeah, clerks had a fucking yeah, gun. Got that <laughs> level eight. Yeah, yeah, fucking real you your gun at level eight. I mean, I mean, ultimately, I leave it up to you to read your character sheets. But, oh uh, yeah, I mean, you don't so, have no. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I try my best, but I do try to point things out when I'm like, hey, just FYI. Yeah. You, have just, you haven't done it for 20 sessions, but <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. And I know it's not much help now, but at least it's good for future. Also, DM wins because I didn't have to deal with danger sense for, you know, 35, 36 sessions. I'm, I'm just fucking around. Uh, Skagzag. Yeah, Again, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Gagzag, continue. Mm -hmm. uh, what was else? So you moved out of the fog. You still have a bonus action and action Correct. menu. Um. Uh. I'm gonna. Wait, can I, like, detect its vulnerabilities, or is that not an option? Uh, if there are no vulnerabilities listed on the uh on on the list, then you, there the you have immutable have form anything. and exposed hide to check. All right, all right. Uh, I think this is a good time to just catapult again. All right. Uh, catapulting rocks, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes. Dexterity. Yes. Uh, 11. That's a miss, and it does not have danger sense, so it will take 30 points of bludgeoning damage. Please roll. Um, you make another fog. Yes, please roll a, uh, a d20, wild magic. If he rolls a 14, he creates more fog. That's just a fun fact for, you know, live stream fails. Five. Uh, all right. Five. Once again, as I, as it has happened so many times, Skagzag, you are now considered tiny as you shrink down. Yeah. This guy, oh, just, he's crazy. <laughs> he's crazy. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Unhinged. <laughs> yeah, Small Zag. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, uh, that was your action, your move. You have a bonus action remaining. Um, <laughs> Immutable former exposed hut. <laughs> so funny about bonus action. Let the, Benji posted a meme to compliments. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Benji, funny. post that in Wild. fan art, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is really good. Post that in fan art. Uh, I'd like my bonus action to be tipping my fedora to this. The queen. All right, you tip your oh imaginary concussed fedora as a bonus action. Is that Thank actually you. what you'd like to do? Yes. Hold on, concussion I'm check. Wasted it. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I do that, and then I forget I did it. All right, uh, so that ends Skagzag's round. Pikel. Can we get someone to medically go up to Skagzag and prove to him that his concussion's <laughs> placebo? One of these yeah, fucking days. <laughs> <laughs> well, he never fucking had one, I guarantee it's it. It's a problem. Uh, Pikel, 
Yes. Uh, would you like to go or would you like the Parasite Queen to go? I'm going to go. Okay. And I'm going to do Guiding Bolt. Okay. Fuck off. Can I that, do it again? <laughs> uh, yes, you can spend the uh, the fungus to re-roll. Wait. Is it, wait, does everyone have a fungus or just but, me? No, the, 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 the fungus okay. is on the thing. I wish that I, oh, wish no, that no. I had cut in before you rolled because I would have portented the roll to be a guaranteed success. How? But... And since the roll's out, I can't do it. I could technically do it for the advantage. Uh, the second roll. You might even say there's a fungus. You do that a fungus. But if you uh, if you do that, it spends. It does spend the fungus counter. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like I mean, if, if we if good. we take just like for the future, if we're taking a roll where like we super duper want a status to land, tell me first because I I will make it land. Okay. Yeah. But if you roll it before I can say I want to do it, it I can't do it anymore. Gotcha. So you, can you do it for the advantage roll? I could. I just can't be able to see the roll. I can't know what the roll's like, the right. results of it. Yeah, I have yeah, to do yeah. it before the roll Makes comes sense. out. Uh, uh, I mean, should we use the fungus so it's, that model can get yeah. advantage if I hit? I think we should use the fungus. Okay. We should, yeah. It's just okay. a wasted roll. It's just we wanna... advantage. We want to use it as quick as possible. Yeah. Okay. So then what's your thing to make it hit? Oh, I was thinking you would just do the, the roll again. If we're doing fungus, are you I spending the fungus? The roll again. What if it doesn't? If we're spending, if we're spending the fungus, we shouldn't spend the portent too. You know what I mean? Okay, 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 okay. I don't think fungus, I don't think that's fungus. worth spending. If both. This doesn't oh, well, how much is portent? I have two of them. I have a portent roll right, for five okay. and one for eleven, but they they also take the pluses. So, right, right, right. Okay. All right, should I just roll it? All right, land that shit, Bree. Oh God, please. Yeah! Oh, nice. <laughs> Would you like to take this new number and spend the fungus? Yeah. All right. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're good. Uh, no, we're good, actually. All right. The fungus coating has been removed. You, you've okay. successfully hit with a guiding bolt. All right. Uh, 14 radiant points of damage. Three it is not now ones marked. on that, by the way. Three not ones. Mm. Um, okay. Nine Ma model gets model? advantage. It's like I'm playing Blood Bowl. Oh, so I've got advantage on the shooting. Advantage, yes. Uh, that hits. Good day. Uh, four. And Ooh! it's also sneak with Holy Jaselin. Fuck. So. Baby, 15 fuck it up. plus 24, 30, 39 points of damage. Oh, damn. Okay. You and got what? three, three yeah, it's criticals, and I got three <laughs> There must right. always be one loser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, balance. Uh-huh, uh -huh. All right, 39 points of damage dealt. Uh, Pikel, it's still your turn. You have a bonus action and movement remaining. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's scan. All right. Uh, just uh, as a heads up, uh, you have there is a new trait uh, that you can learn, uh, calluses. We probably want to check those because if these don't yeah. go away, we're running out of arena. I would like Very to quick. redeem calluses as my skin. <laughs> I would like to <laughs> redeem the <laughs> <with> calluses. <laughs> you have redeemed coupon. calluses. <laughs> my eye on uh, coupon. Bardic Parasite <laughs> Queen <laughs> calluses share the same HP as the Bardic Parasite Queen. They have an AC of 25. If a callus is hit with a parasitic surge, it stops the parasitic surge line, destroying the callus. So those those parasitic surges that it keeps shooting out in a 500 foot line, um, it stops at a parasitic surge, um, or a player or, or so a creature. So the player dodges it and it goes through to the thing. That's it. That's how it works. No, not necessarily. So if uh, the, if there is a callus between a creature, if they hide behind the calluses, bingo. Bingo, bingo. So it wouldn't, so it wouldn't keep going if someone dodged like out of the way nope. of it. Like it, 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 it stops at the, uh, it stops at the creature, whether okay. it misses or it, it hits or misses. Okay. Um, if a callus is hit with a parasitic surge, it stops the parasitic surge line. It destroys the callus, and then Bardic Parasite Queen is dealt true damage. <sighs> so the so main danger back is in the fog uh, hole. Yeah, we got to go in the hide. Uh, Everyone's so into the fog. Into the fog. <laughs> Into the fog. Uh, I mean, th uh, that's still not uh, super ideal. Like, you guys could hide behind this callus, and we could hide behind this callus. Yeah, we we'll don't want to keep beating stack. the shit out of it for now. Yeah, for now. I don't think we go back to the callus. We all already got out of them. 
plus there's fog in those ones. Yeah, plus I don't like the idea of spending a turn moving and stacking up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we keep that in mind for future calluses. If we're yes, in danger, yes. yeah. All right, that's your bonus action. Would you like to move at all? Um, if you go up, I can move even further away if you want. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have to go back down, right? No, not necessarily. New oh, castles okay. might be a bummer. I mean, I'm pretty happy staying right here. Can you stay there? Honestly. Are you at the door? Are you trying to leave? Oh, oh, I don't know you what you're talking about. Oh my god, she's what trying the fuck? to leave. She's uh, the fucking guy. Got her, the girl's got her hand on the fucking door. <laughs> 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 never. You she didn't changed. see that. <laughs> All right, so you're ending your round? Yeah. All right. So uh, the Parasite Queen will go as uh, ruptures begin to form underneath everybody. All right, that's how it worked. Yo, Qua. Mm -hmm. What? Help me beat the shit out of this tentacle and we can just, we can just use these two calluses. Mm -hmm freebies dude deal all right if, it, if I, I need something to hit dude if it's not you <laughs> that tentacle probably what. won't be killed by my two rocks Jesus. yeah can i so can i do this yeah you can move out Great. no okay. attack right. opportunity as long as you're still in combat range perfect that's what i was worried about all right um i I'm going to. So, question: If we already use the mushrooms, mm -hmm. they're gone. That is correct. Yeah. And if I attack again, they'll come back. Nope. No. Once per battle. What if I like leave the area? <laughs> hmm. Seems like a lot of work what? for like a lucky. I mean. A lot, that's a lot of work. But like, what if? All right, uh, I'm gonna just attack three more times because that's where we're at in life. Uh, okay. I like the hustle though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta try sometimes. Uh, that hits. For Eight. four points of slashing. Eight. That misses. Eight. And that hits. For ooh, three points of slashing. Okay, but then my rage plus three to both of those. Uh, the tentacles move after uh, Pikel's turn. Uh, plus, did you say plus twelve? Uh, plus, plus three to both plus of those. Three plus three to three. each. Uh, yeah, uh, gotcha. So that's an extra two points of damage. All Excellent. right. Yo, uh, wait. <laughs> I just thought of this. Chisel doesn't still have the staff, does he? <laughs> we got rid of that, right? I, I do not have the staff. I only have the fungazoid. The okay. one time that your axe doesn't fucking work for the fight, dude. What are the odds? I know. Oh. Okay, uh, Cheezel, does that end your round? Uh, you can I use remaining? my bonus action to investigate the yes. immutable form or exposed hide? I think are the last. I thing. was gonna yeah, I was gonna see if we could learn about exposed hide. All that's probably right. useful for me. Ex good. Exposed hide. Uh, exposed hide can be targeted at an AC of 19. Exposed hide uh, has no damage resistances, hey. and damage dealt to the hide is dealt to the bar bardic parasite queen. Hey, look, that's you, Cheezel. <laughs> yeah, I know, but how do we like expose its hide? Oh no, it you, just, you just you just say I, I'm targeting the you exposed just hide. It. Yeah, it's at an elevated oh, I have AC. To get a... Is all. Great. Wow. Okay. I declare exposed hide. I mean, hide. I have. I can help you out with that. Redeem exposed hide. <laughs> Yikes. How do I spend uh, this? All right. Uh, are you moving any more? No, I'm good. All right. So your turn is over. The tentacles will begin to move. Dude, step off. Go away. Step off, bro. Bring it on. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, the slug continues to slumber. Qua, it's your turn. Me? Yeah. Finally? Yeah. All yeah. right. It's pointing at the... Uh, <laughs> all right. First order of business. I guess it's more of a question. Yes. Um, how does... 
how does temp hp on top of 10 hp work is it just additive uh it it it, it only is re it doesn't add uh so it's only it, it replaces all right uh and if and if you try to gain temp hp that is less than your your current temp hp you don't get anything okay um all right i'm gonna cast uh guardian of nature as a bonus action oh my god uh and i'm going to cast primal beast bestial furs cover your body facial features become feral uh, a little fa you see uh, one uh, fang uh, pop out of his fucking mouth disgusting amazing is that, is that one, one, on the like, shell anime girl what fang the fuck? no <laughs> uh, i get a walking speed increase of 10 i get dark vision no <laughs> I get an advantage on strength-based attack and rolls right. and an extra 1d6 on melee. Yeah, but you lose all of our characters' respect. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that it was worth much to begin That's all right. with. Yeah. And then I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I stand on this bench. Let me get a little closer. 40. Uh, then I will use my action oh god this is all right this is gonna be a, head, a headache to calculate quad has so much stuff in a turn this is Dude, crazy okay you don't need, okay this is what apparently sport Druid like does all right so i'm gonna cast booming blade okay which is a cantrip yes okay here we go uh first i have to make a melee what does it say uh melee attack that's it just make a normal melee attack and if it lands that's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. You have to use your character sheet. In uh, D and D Beyond. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, booming blade. And I'm I gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have Summer help me with uh, getting everyone's character sheets working. That's not right. <laughs> uh, staff Where's of the Adder. No, I'm I, just I got a hit. <laughs> Yo, I got gotcha. you. Are you just attacking with the staff of the Adder? Yeah, but I'm not activating snakes. I'm just swinging. Right. It. Okay. You yeah, have to use the weapon this. that you used to cast the spell, right? God damn it. Yeah. Right, here, here, I'm going to do this. Uh, so click. Uh, do you see the square that says hit slash DC uh, in the actions? Just click that to see if you I clicked first. the plus six and it didn't do anything. It just it just, it just right, gave you all it, that. This is what this is. Epic, dude. Oh, is that right. just a D20 plus six? Epic, dude. Yeah, just roll D20 plus six. Boom, 25. Oh okay. God. So I rolled 25. Uh, right. So now... I have so many spells active at once. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Come on, uh, Qua, you can do it. I'm doing the math. All right, 1d8. I'm just going to start typing this out. It's like blood oozing out of Qua's ears. If he even 1d8 has plus, is leaking. Uh, it is leaking from all this. Plus um, 2d6 in spore damage. Mm -hmm. Plus uh, what else? Plus 1d6 from what a, the stupid fucking spell I just cast. Mm -hmm. I have too many things. This blade. is why I don't like playing right. sports Druid kills optimally. It. There we Booming go. Blade is 1d8. Uh, hold, hold on one Plus second. 1D6. So you're, do, so you're it's doing 2d6 and it's 2d8. Yeah, here we go. So here we go. Uh, you're doing Booming Blade, correct? Yes. But it's got a bunch of additives. What level are you hitting it at? What, uh, casting Booming Blade at? Cantrip level. I don't think you can upcast cantrips. Uh, I think you can. One second, please. Wait, hold on. I don't believe so. No, why does it say at higher levels? Oh yeah, at higher levels, so your 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 booming blades can actually do more. I can I I can I can fix it. Oh right. Yeah yeah, your cantrip. You're scales. talking about the cantrip scaling, not the upcasting. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, my bad. That's even more dice. It's also confusing because it increases there by it is. varying okay, amounts. Okay, all right. Um, I, I got this. So, uh, all right. So, what are you doing? You doing booming blade and uh, uh, what? So you're attacking with the staff, correct? Yeah. All right. You hit the staff. Um, you're doing and what? What are you attaching to staff? Booming blade. Yeah. Anything else with booming blade besides that? Um, two d six damage from. My symbiotic entity. Okay. Epic. Oh, wait. This? Yeah. I'm just going to roll that. <laughs> I'm just going to press that button. Uh, there you so, go. So, uh, 1d6 uh, plus 2, so 4 points of damage. It's... Uh, why? What's the... Why does it say 12? That was 2d8. Oh, 2d8. Which uh, I should have. 
What level are, what level's Qua? Uh, I think I'm yes. technically 10, so I'm, I don't have the level 11 uptick. Sorry, okay, guys. Yeah. Give me one second. I um, feel bad because this isn't even a substantial no, 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 amount what, of damage. No, what, no, no. Once we figure it out, I, I, I got it all <laughs> figured out. blade should be 2 At DA. this level, well, kind of rude to have your turn say take so long. So new yeah. in the group and all. What the hell? Under damage yeah. the target and the damage uh, and, the, and the damage the target takes for moving to increase to 2. Oh, if the target moves, it's 2d8. Gotcha. So yeah. it's 1d8. Um, at 11th level, uh, both damage increase by 1. Okay, perfect. I got it. Yeah. It's the tentacle so dies from meth. The roll All is right. correct. Yeah, so if it doesn't there. die, I'm going to be almost I don't think it does. I, don't, I, I legit don't think it does. Do you do 40 damage? It's got 40 HP. Uh, what level are you? To, to, oh, you're 10th level? Call? I think I'm 10. He's not, ele he's not 11. Yeah, uh -huh. so, so yeah, it, it, it increases uh, at, 11th, at 11th level. It goes to yeah, 2 Yeah, so I'm 10. So. And then 17th, one, yeah. Plus so 1d8 to both of the rolls. Yeah. No, it's just 1d8. At 11th level, he gets it. It increases. At 11th level, 2d8 and for the initial damage. And then I also have Guardian of Nature, the... extra 1d6. No, that's easy enough. Uh, Guardian Nature. Gar where's your Guardian of Nature? Oh. Roll 1d6. I'm just going to roll 1d6. 1D6, extra force damage. No, that's not. No, yes. silly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so oh, we got no. two damage, one damage, three damage, and then I'm going to add the 12 there. 15 points of damage. <laughs> How much time did wow. that take? It, it, took, it took a bit, but that's because everything was this broken is a, on this is a my beware, end. Beware your macros. <laughs> so yeah, macros Believe all you broken. Me, I'm never attempting that again. No, 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 it's all good. Well, now <laughs> that, now that I know everything, quoi. no, now that I, I know everything is doing, I can type that all out super fucking quick. Bro, all right. Tear to my eye. Uh, so are you doing an <laughs> extra attack or are you just do attack one time? That's all I got. Okay. Uh, what was your bonus action? That was Guardian of... It was Guardian of Nature sometime. Okay. So... <laughs> that was it's such all... an offensive it turn. So you turned into a furry work. creature and then you fucking did 20 rolls. <laughs> uh, a tendril will spawn up there, uh, erupting from the ground. And then after Qua's turn... As you have walked up to it, uh, it's going to go under Quad and latch underneath them. <laughs> I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Um. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. All right, you're good. good. Take hey. no damage. Uh, the te tentacle's still going to be wrapped around you, though. Um, How do you feel like getting hit by rocks, Qua? Eh. All right. You can add the uh, tentacle without attacking Qua. Stuff oh, I know. He wants to. Just like I oh, want to hit in him general. in the belly, not the blood. <laughs> I was just asking how he felt about it. Oh, you know, I gotcha. Well, oh, booming blade, booming blade. Oh, it did move. That's right. <laughs> yep, it did move. So uh, yes. we're doing a roll. 2d8. 14, oh, is that? 14 oh, points oh. of damage as the tentacle oh, will then immediately writhe from the movement. It. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> uh... Please turn to the boss and observe. Oh, the what happens? I'm observing. <laughs> oh, it was so it slugs. was a full amount of damage. Focus the slugs. And it gains a vulnerability stack. Yo, kill these fucking tentacles, dude. What the fuck? All right. Clark. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. And then this one's inching towards peek out. Okay, Clark. Clark's going to move right here i'm positioning myself trying to make sure that like when Good this shot. comes up i'm still gonna be able to see it i think i will looking at how the perspectives of these squares has worked yep. i think that's good uh next i'm going to i'm just gonna get my objects out of the way first so this tree's gonna go right up this fucking guy okay okay and he's it, the tree's gonna beat the shit out of him okay Let me pull open i have to pull open the spell on my board to find the ability again we're gonna have your character sheet fixed by next yeah, week. Yeah. Summer's gonna help and build all the character <laughs> sheets. Very huge. That's two uh, six points of bludgeoning. On my D12. Nice. Right nice. Nice. The tree uh, makes very uh, uh, like sort of insulting gesture though. <laughs> um. Yeah. It looks like it's flicking off the slug. I like yeah. that. I like that. And then these two rocks are gonna look over there and get fucking mad too, and they're gonna start running. 
towards <laughs> they sprout towards two yeah, feet and start, start waddling over fucking running over <laughs> oh boy and oh. now oh this guy's fucking dead when they get there dude those rocks are crazy okay and then yeah okay that's your bonus uh -huh. action to move you got an action left we'll have an action i'm going to spend i have one fifth left but i'm saving that uh, I'm gonna cast a, uh, yeah, I'll cast an upcasted, um, catapult at the guy. Catapult? At level four. Yeah, I have a catapult. What? At level <laughs> he four. He thought, what? thought he was the only one who could throw <laughs> objects. You're not special. <laughs> what? It's just that you just throw. Yeah. Mm. I can do wait it a too. Minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna scroll up for a second. Before I cast this, I'm gonna scroll up and see what this guy if this guy's made any deck saves recently and how I think good they it look. doesn't look very dexterous. It doesn't look very dexterous at all. I'll take it. Yeah, let's the do a level four country. catapult. Okay. I'm just gonna huck one of the rocks that's right in front of me. Alright. Also keep in mind that it has a vulnerability stack if you ever decide to spend it. All right, what's your DC? 15. Here we go. Hey, the thing doesn't move. How much dex could it have? Uh, Not good. much. Not much. <laughs> as it takes 28 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. All right. Uh, Clerk, does that end your round? Unless you like to move that, anymore. That does end my round. I think it's a good uh, position. Regardless. All right. Obs observe. Observe. And now, back to this. There's a creature within melee, so uh, it's going to attack it with parasitic slashers three times. No, hit. attack the tree, though. What? what? Come, on. Come on, hit the tree, though. No, no, it's going to attack the Come little on. goblin. The tree's making gestures at, at it again to try to get stuck. <laughs> you know, it's not going to get scared of the giant freaking tree, dude. No. I don't believe. No, well that misses. So okay, so two hit. It's more interested in the goblin that's chopping him into little pieces. All right, so thirteen. That's six points of damage to a raging cheesel, and nine and points of damage to small that child. small child. Yeah, small child. Small child is pretty, pretty good tank. That's a problem. Uh, model. <laughs> Yo, the um, earth shakes underneath you. When did that was that that was on the battlefield turn that that actually happens, right? Correct. Battlefield turn. Um, you always have a chance to move. So, so vulnerability. Around you. Yeah. Vulnerability stack is double damage, right? Uh, yeah. Correct. If you, hit. you do it after, right? After your damage roll? Uh, no. So you have to, you have to, before you attack, after you have to say I'm spending before that. The damage I, before if I the delay, okay. if I delay an action, can I also say that I want to do the vulnerability on that action when I do it? As long as you do not roll your damage, um, you can spend your vulnerability stack. And nobody takes it. Okay. <laughs> and nobody takes it. That is and correct. Takes it. Right. But well, hopefully your party will communicate with you, you would, about you the vulnerability stack smile. <laughs> They couldn't I mean, even take <laughs> Clarence to take his jacket off. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm right. gonna run back here. Really, it's a trial of teamwork, to... honestly. <laughs> I'm this taking my chances with fight. another fucking fifth level sleep if it wakes up, dude. Fuck <laughs> yeah, dude. I want to hit that thing so bad. I think it's I I I think it's a sleep for like uh ten rounds. It's a sleep, it's yeah, a while. until I get hit. It's a full minute, which yeah, uh, is rounds. going to be pretty rough to do to me. Well, well currently we're on round four, so. Yeah, I've got yeah. some time. Uh, round 11 is when it wakes up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hold my bow action to shoot after Pakel's turn um, mm -hmm. and use a vulnerability. Okay. Hell when yeah. I do that. Hey, uh, Skagzag. That's me. Uh, would you like to go first or would you like the Parasite Queen to and go first? Wait, hold on. Can I use oh, my Oh, sorry, bonus my apologies. Action? Sorry. Can I use the bonus action to scan the last? Thing, I think a mutable form. Uh, you also haven't scanned Tank Buster turn. Oh, have we not? Okay. You scanned Taunt. You never did. Right. Uh, let's do a mutable form. Okay. A mutable form. This creature Thank cannot you. be polymorphed. Okay. Oh, we don't do that much. <laughs> All right. Does that end your round? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yep. The earth yep. trembles underneath you. It's your turn, buddy. Yep. What would you like to I do? I just wanted to see where you'd go with it. 
I'm gonna... Let's see... Uh, I'm gonna move up here. Hey, I just and... had a stupid thought. Can All you right. banish Clarence Chestworm and have Clarence walk like five feet to the right? Is I was that just thinking like about that actually. <laughs> and like bring it back? I, I Is just that just It would be a part of me and thus I would oh. also be banished. I guess, but like then you guys sort out your differences in another dimension. I mean, it's a right, sleep. but that keep doesn't make a lot of sense. about a sleeping sense. thing, you know? Why would the, why would it why would it care about being stuck to that specific place above the planet? The planet's also moving; it's rotating around a, a star. So then, surely it would just fly off really far oh, if you shit, locked you're it right. in place. Let's get into the. <laughs> let's not get into relativity here. Yeah, let's right? get into the relatively yeah. even surface. Yeah. I, for one thing, banished should pop you out. It's just in the middle of fucking nowhere in space. <laughs> well, <laughs> technically, uh, technically, the parasite is a part of Clarence. That's like trying yeah, to say I banished Clarence's liver. I wish I could. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> I've been fun. thinking about that. Like, I banished Claw's their head off. fucking psycho, huh? There's apparently no <laughs> safe players. <laughs> I banished their head off. Yeah, come on. I'm just saying, I could have I could have fucking excised that thing with an arrow tip, you know? But yeah, you chose but the poison you, you guy. Took, you took goblin meth from someone. You took... Blood meth yeah, from yeah. a place in here. You just keep Skagzag. Skagzag. Keep me focused. Pilots do the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, I derailed that. Skagzag. No, it's all good. Skagzag, <laughs> you've, you've moved. You've got an action and bonus action remaining. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do another catapult. Seems to be going well. That's pretty epic, dude. Let's Thanks. see. Ooh. All right. And uh. ooh, 25 points of bludgeoning. Give me a wild magic roll. Did I get any ones in there? Um, you can go ahead and mount over one, and find one. Oh, wait, I did get one one. Yeah, you got one one. One one. And oh, a two. My. Wait, can I re-roll the two as well? You, it can re-roll three dice. It doesn't matter which ones you uh, roll. that's what it is. Yeah, I'll re-roll the one and the two. Okay. Roll uh, what, a 2d6, please. Slash roll 2d6. I mean, uh, don't you get to choose? It oh. deals a, an additional three points of damage. I'm sorry, yeah, what was that? Nice. No, don't worry. It's fine. doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh... Also, excellent. I believe that was your final fourth level slot. Uh, you cast catapult yes. three times. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you're actually no. I did a, uh, I did a fifth level. Oh, you did. The first you time. are correct. So you have one more fourth slot remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, friend. Uh, uh, okay, roll uh one d twelve. Roll wild magic twice. There we go. There we go. Come on, lucky sevens. 13 Ooh. and 16. Those sound fun. Yeah. 13, <laughs> nothing happens. Yes. 16, nothing happens. Yes. Did you use oh. your bonus action already? Uh, nope. no. The last one that we need to learn about is Tank Buster, I think. Mm. If you want to do that. Or you can... Tank, wait, what, yeah, what I can tip the fedora or... <laughs> Uh -huh. It doesn't exist. He's just sort of mm -hmm. twitching. He's making it up. <laughs> He's literally just grabbing yeah. nothing Dude, on his head and moving it <laughs> one too many times on the head. <laughs> he's I, think we, I think we should. I think we should kill him and reincarnate him. Who's no, I want to just see how far oh, no, this can go. Oh, that's so good. No, he's he's, no, no. He's, uh, he's he's tipping his brained head from the concussion. Uh, just that mm. flesh sack on the top of his oh, head. Oh yeah, I tip the fedora. Yeah, he tips we his flesh sack better. from on top of his head. All right, so you are, uh, for the record, not spending your bonus action. Is that correct? Correct. I rolled a one on my concussion check, so I re I'm tipping the fedora. All right. Skagzak's turn ends. Pikel, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. I am going to bonus action disengage from Tentacle. Oh, nice. at the end of Oh, by the way, at the end of the round, the Tentacle goes underneath there. And just, uh, I need you to make a constitution <laughs> oh. saving throw. Wait, what? Uh, it the it moved on top of you from the end of Skag's uh, from turn. From the end of Skag's uh, turn, yes. Uh, yeah, that is a fail. So, you'll be dealt seven points of true damage. Is uh, Pico rooted in place now? No. Okay. So I don't uh, need to bonus action disengage to move on? Or do I... Can it opportunity? You don't know if it, it does opportunity attacks. You don't know if it's I mean, we, we don't have anything left to scan except for Tank Buster, but we've not scanned it for so far. And Actually, no, like I'm okay. not, uh, Benji's right. Uh, so the, since you've already scanned the minions, I will let you know uh, that the tentacles do not take reactions. 
Okay, so I can. Thank you for telling me I'm away. right. I was not saying that though. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, it's you're you're right. Just want to make sure it was clear. Uh, what's up, model? Okay. Yo. 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 Okay, I'm gonna um do the Ganon bolt. Let's Yo, go. Yo, is that the warg? Stop. What the warg doing? Uh, what's up? <laughs> gonna roll an 11 said, plus your stop. bonus, and that's what it's gonna do to it. Yeah. Holy fuck. That's, that's good. Oh. So. Okay. It'll Eleven plus eight. Plus is. Yeah, nineteen. Plus this roll. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. So, nice. So the eighteen hits. Are you still wanting to do that? Question mark. No, the, I already did the port, and she's doing like damage or whatever, unless she's doing another thing. No, she she rolled the attack. It's an eighteen. What um what is that ability that you're doing? I th I just want to okay. make sure. If you do the roll, I can't do it anymore. Basically, what are you sure? Is, is are you? I, if you finish a long rest, roll two d20s and record the numbers rolled. You can replace any attack roll, saving throw, or ability check made by you He's or creature. You can see with roll. one of these foretelling like, rolls. He just tells them a number. So I replace the, the dice. Oh, hold on one I second. Let me d20. let me just double check the wording because I that might also what it mean might mean is before the result of the roll is given. You must choose to do so before the roll. Oh, and before the roll is even made. Only oh. once per turn. Oh, yikes! That's. Boy, that's well, a big gamble. I already gamble. said I was going to do portent. Yes, you did. Yes, yeah. you did. I, I, uh, I just wanted to make sure that it was, it wasn't better for you. In other words, yeah, like, no, I already said it, so that's what we'll do. I'm not going to like take the portent. Oh, it's all good. Back. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so I, uh, I just want everyone to understand so that they're not confused why I'm like yeah, cutting yeah, yeah. people off. To do it I was, I was confused because usually with, well, usually what, what those are, it's, it's typically <laughs> determined before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to like, cut people off. No, for the record, my other portent I still have is a five. <laughs> So I'm going to probably use it to force use it on this. an enemy, huh? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Wizard, it's bullshit. Oh. Well, I'm about to roll twice. All right. So, uh, guiding bolt hit for 20 points of radiant damage. Yes. And you, yeah. the creature is now marked with the guiding bolt. Oh fuck yeah! Pop off model. Let's go. I hope I hit. It would suck if I didn't. Vul vulnerable. Also, uh, the creature has a vulnerability Vintage. stack. Good day. I so could honestly, if now. you get like, if you have a gigantic amount of plus on something, nah, never mind. Wait, what? I was just gonna say that if you had like a huge amount of plus to the point where your bonus plus my portent roll was enough to get you a guaranteed AC hit on something, we could just um, put that on the vulnerability I, so that we're got, that's a guaranteed. Yeah, I think I, I think I have that because my I have um plus twelve, so plus your five would put seventeen. Yeah, I won't be able is, to do oh, it this yeah. turn because I've already done one portent, but we can oh, save the reaction. vulnerability to next turn and do it then. Uh, can I save? I think I already said that I was gonna do it. Yeah, no, let's save the vulnerability then. That's fine. But I'll, I'll just do my two if I can, right? Uh, I mean, as long as you haven't rolled the dice, you're free to do whatever you want. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna aim for its face. Okay. Uh, thirty hits or 15, 20, 33 points of damage. Woo! Oh nice. yes. Go model. Damage. <laughs> all right, Pikel, your turn may continue. Uh, that's all I got. I moved. I did an action and a bonus. Wait, I did not do a bonus. <laughs> I lied. Did not do a bonus. Did we do Tank Buster? Is that the last one? That's, that's the last one. one. We haven't done all it. All right, let's do it. Tank all Buster right, turn. Tank Buster on initiative of 15. Uh, Bardic Parasite Queen attacks with the Parasitic Surge towards the player with the most current HP or if a creature has the taunt ailment, mm. AKA the taunting, the mm. the, ta the bonus action to taunt. Mm. Uh, parasitic surge, I will copy and paste that. Does the taunt it, ailment stay? Uh, it stays until the end of your next round. So we can, we can bait um, her to hit into one of these things. Correct. Mm. Yes. Parasitic Surge Line is a 500 foot line. Dexterity saved, DC 17, 11 D8 piercing damage. Do you need is... line of sight to taunt, Brat? Uh. Oh, uh, no. Okay, oh, hell fair. yeah. <laughs> no, you do not. Okay. Nido. Pikel, that ends your turn. Peace. All right. Battlefield turn. Just gonna. Uh, you'll just kind of actually see she will shift over to the side uh, as the callus kind of like p 
pushes her away. Uh, you, at that point, can see that the callus is literally a part of her. Uh, you can assume that this creature is earthed underneath the Bardic College. How big or massive this creature is is just simply unknown. Dude, this college sucks. I blame Happy. Yeah, this had this to is have like been going on another reason while we why there. we don't like him at this point. Yeah. That's, that's going to well, shift the tendril over as well. We don't even know if he's alive, dude. We should probably be careful what we say. <laughs> he may be less of <laughs> On the other side, or I don't know. He's I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This battlefield's looking fun. I disagree. <laughs> looking I kind of like it. Uh. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> let, me, let me go ahead and get that uh, that dynamic lighting going. Ooh. Uh, oh, blink yeah, so that I can, I can memorize layout see, of battlefield. Baby. Okay, there we go. It's fine. Wow, it got very hard to see in here. Yeah. Yep, that's because massive yeah. growths are now just out, uh, up, jetting up. All right, Cheezle. I'm going to try to go like, whoop, like that. Okay. And I mean, I can't see anything. Yeah, the because problem. Uh, if you look out, you just see these literally giant, massive calluses are just yeah. mountainous uh, over the area, so yeah. I want to let y'all know, I have to listen to the fight because my screen is, I'm going to say 50% black right now. I can't <laughs> tell what's happening. I have no clue what's going on. Room. Yeah, that's right. Slapping the worm with exposed hide over and over again until it's a pile of mush. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right, let's expose hide this well, welcome to a fight that resorts on sight. Okay. Madness. All right. Let's do this thing. Let's Steven. Do this. I call upon you now to smite this bitch. Yes. yes. That's a critical hit. Um, hey, since you mentioned my feats and uh, my features and traits, <clears throat> I um I have I I have one called mm -hmm. Brutal Critical. Very you can you. roll one additional weapon damage die when determining the extra damage for a critical hit Yo. with a melee attack. Holy yep. shit. Were you aiming yep. for the exposed hide when yeah. you did that? Yes. Oh, That's fuck nice. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Fuck it up. Uh, make sure you uh, always declare that you're aiming for the exposed hide. Would you, would I you, did. Okay, would you like to make that your default? Like you're always aiming for the exposed hide? I mean, yes. Right okay, now, perfect. yes. All right, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. so right now your default attacks will be the exposed hide. Uh, just let me know if you change otherwise. You, do, do, you, do you have reckless attacks, Jesse? Yes, he does. I do. Yes. You get He's choosing, not to, he's choosing not to use them, though. Uh, oh, brutal yeah. critical, you can roll roll one additional weapon die. All right, so click Steven, Axe of the Fungazoid. I believe it will roll your just brutal... To con just to confirm, if I yes. reckless... I do more damage, but they can do more damage to me, yes? You get advantage, uh, but they also get advantage on you. For no, the next I'm all right. I'm all yeah, right. You become yeah, more let's... accurate, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep Cheese alive. No, I'm He's good. going to be the one I who takes Tank Buster if it happens. All right, so how does this work? I hit it once, twice, three times a charm? Uh, so uh, select the, uh, select the, the title. Score. Select the, 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 the word. There you go. And that's all the damage. It already rolled the dice for you. So 9, 6, 15, 8, 23, 11 points of damage. Great. Why is it 11? Uh, because it has resistance to slashing weapons. Oh, oh he sorry. Did, uh, no, you, you are right. You are right. You are right. You are right. Closed, no. 12. Uh, another 12 points of damage. JK. Uh, 23 points of damage. Good. Yeah. And yeah. two more attacks. Let us continue. Oh. oh, that is another crit. Oh my God. Oh, what? Oh, oh, fuck. The chosen one. Holy fuck. Ah. The, shit. the chosen oh, one. Damage, hey. yeah. 26, uh, 31 points of damage. Turn your back on me, will you? <laughs> All right, one more. Come on. This is going to be a massive failure. Or a 30. That is still really good. Still really good. Crazy. This fucking worm is eating shit right Nine now. Nine points dude, of damage. 
Do, is his rage damage included rage? in any of this? Yeah. Uh, no, it is not. So uh, we wait it's until everything is complete. Each of those. Nine points of damage. Yeah. And we get for the that, Fury of the Small. For the last one, I was going to say, can you use Fury of the Small in the last <laughs> one? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you That's can. another 11 points of damage. All nice. right. She's just, just snap off. this thing in half. Off. Okay. And lest we forget, Special on packs. a critical hit, make a weapon attack. You get to attack two more times. Oh my god, he did it so fast. Oh my god. So much damage. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, 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 the axe has a special effect on it for crit. That's so. the axe's special effect? What the fuck? That hits. What the fuck? So did shit. you do four, two 17 more points of damage? What yep, one more attack, attack, please. Plus, I hope he does. plus three on that one, yes? Yep, already applied. Great. Oh, damn. That misses. Aww. Uh, caught up to me. Can't no be King awesome all the time. That was so caught much up to damage, me. damage, though. That was great. That was almost 100 <laughs> fucking damage. Oh, also, also for the future, um, you can only do uh, one additional weapon attack per round with the critical effect. So you're not okay. critically, you're not infinite uh, oh, weapon attacking to oblivion. Infinite crit whirlwind. <laughs> yeah, 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 I really didn't want to do that. I don't like uh, teasing infinite loops. So, um, okay. Uh, hey, are you done? <laughs> Please be uh, done. Is there anything else left to? There's nothing else left to scan. Nope. You have scanned everything. I am going to. I think you have bonus action, Manny. Yeah, Are you near it, Jesse? Out... Are you in melee range? I am. Okay. Uh, it is currently mm. next to a callus. Bonus action. I want to. Uh... I want to combat wild shape to gain one d eight HP. Wait, what? It says combat wild shape. You can use wild shape as a bonus action, and you can use a bonus action to uh, expend one spell slot to regain 1d8 HP per level of the spell slot expended. Which spell slot would you like to expend? I believe you're level two druid now, correct? So you should yeah. have second level slots. Uh, would you like to spend a second level spell? Let me see here. Let me see here. Uh, uh, can I? Hmm. You can use wild shape as a bonus. I'm just gonna wild shape into a hyena. Never mind. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take that extra HP. Become a hyena. All right, hyena. Skadoosh. Now attack me, you big dumb idiot. He's like, where'd that guy go? He's not even here. <laughs> I love hyena now. I, I love Jesse's stories of what's happening. <laughs> All right, uh, that ends your turn then. Uh, Clerk, the worm continues to slumber. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, easy peasy. All right, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Wow, what a shit show. I can't you see anything. You make eye contact with my rocks as you walk by. Fucking rude. <laughs> they're, they're, those are alive? Yeah. All right, he would give them a fucking nod to both of them as he shuffles past. Also, Brett, can I have sight on the trees and rocks? I actually don't need to be able to see them to interact with them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, but you cannot see what, what they see. Uh, they have blind sight. Can you can you see through them with uh, animate objects? I, I'm pretty sure from the terminology, it made it seem like I could. It was like 500 feet from anywhere. Hmm, one moment. Yeah, we we better the part of either way for the rocks. I would know the direction they need to go. Yep. I mean, all you, all, all you have to let me know is like move in the general direction. That is correct. Yeah. We can just uh, go with I need to be able to see it for now and go through it later. So yeah, it has a blind sight. With a, that's all good. I cast I erupting earth again. <laughs> <laughs> I cast erupting earth again. Okay, erupting earth. Uh, 28 for dexterity saving throw. Are you shitting me? Uh, ha ha. Ab. Ha ha. 14 points of damage. You guys want to just ignore all mechanics and kill this thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. That's what I've been doing. Hell yeah. Got to pull in every round. <laughs> episode three. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> nice. Keeping it, it real, dude. Keeping there. it real. Couple sprinkling a little bit of fog. Man, yeah. I really yeah. rolled a two and a one on the damage. Shit. Yeah. Campbell does so much damage, it's crazy. Alright, does that end your round? 
Um, I guess I do have a bonus action. Is there anything left to scan? Nope. No. It's like normal above board You've shit. Like the only, uh, you, you have a bonus uh -huh. action to taunt and that's it. Let's see. Can I, uh, how, is Chisel full HP? Uh, Chisel is currently a hyena, no. so yes. Mm, oh, yeah, oh, yes. I mean, done. Chisel. Yeah, you, you can't heal Chisel while he's in hyena. You have to use uh, right. Chisel's hit point. Hey, Kual, you could always just stand behind one of the calluses and just wait for something to maybe attack you. Nah, you I've already told moved to. to 40. True. Oh. That's me, Tap. Well, the shape of the line means it would probably hit the cows right next you to you. You want that? Tap. Is that true? You yeah, think that would line then up? Then it'll hit you too, right? Yeah, it'll definitely DM, hit DM, is that how that works? That. Uh, it will not hit the callus from where you are at. Dang, Qua. Dang, Qua. It's been a pleasure, I'm not Qua. Shit. <laughs> I end my turn. All right. It's uh, okay. The, the, trees will, the tree will take the hit before the you. The tree is a hero. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. What's the uh, hit points of... Uh, 80. 80, gotcha. Tree's got what eight. The fuck? Oh well, Tree's it, it uh, it's tank buster aims for player characters specifically, so it will oh, not. I, I was talking about the line, the parasite line. Oh, I see what you're saying. One. Yeah, yeah, tree that's true. Tree would take the hit. The tree would take the hit. That is correct. And the two rocks have 40, dude. These are tanky <laughs> fucking rocks. Uh, so, Clark. anyways, the rocks start running towards the thing to the north. Uh, mm -hmm. One to there. I'm guessing the rocks can obviously be under the tree. Yes. What with it being a tree. Yes. Yeah, it so, can share a uh, space with a. They are with a... they are running menacingly, like wobbling <laughs> on the ground, like little like little like Sonic the Hedgehog rolling on the ground, dude, at this thing. And the tree's gonna take another fucking swing. Uh, yep, that hits for 16 points of damage. Epic. Quirk's gonna follow that up with his own cast at the. We're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do a, a third level. Sorry, yeah, fourth level. Uh, Witch Bolt. Okay. Because I don't have much else to do right now. And this fight's already kind of looking to be nearing its end. Cast it. Witch Bolt. That hits. Excellent. And here's the damage for the Witch Bolt. 35 points of lightning damage. And if you maintain your constant... Wait. Mm. Nope. Animate Objects is... Is that concentration? Animate Object is concentration, and I'm not holding concentration on the Witch gotcha. Bolt. Gotcha. You're just doing damage. damage. Yep. Perfect. I'm just doing damage. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you have a bonus action. No, bonus action to move. Nope. Uh, are uh, you moving yeah. at all? Uh, nope, I'm staying right here. Okay, action turn. Something is within melee. It's this giant ass dog. Here we go. Oh, come on, the tree starts fucking <laughs> flailing its tree arms. <laughs> come on. Uh, giant hyena. Let's see, what's the AC of the giant hyena? Because these are some shit rolls. Giant hyena's AC is a 12. All three of those hit the giant hyena who is currently raging so he has the same thing uh 16 eight points of damage uh six points of damage and uh that Damn. is not a crit six another six points of damage question uh, i have 48 hp uh 45 it looks like uh, I, I, I have a black screen. I didn't want to say nothing. No, I'm it's all good. It's all good. He all lives good. in the dark. To be like a team player, and I didn't want to. No, you're like you're I a team player. You're currently nothing. at 25 hit points. I can't say nothing. I know. I'll I'll. I'll uh, it's all I'll, good. You keep I'll, doing your I'll thing. I'll tell pal. you. I'll tell you with I'll, your uh, special eyes. Okay, baby. Okay, oh. Bubala. You do your thing. <laughs> Model. Uh, the tentacles continue to move in. model you are Jesus also Christ, sorry that was a, a long walk no you're good <laughs> giant ass uh calluses not chalices hey. all right is that clunt hi <laughs> what do you mean was that clunt it, it, it's that little fucking that? thing yeah, i see clunt. clunt yeah you see a little edge of clunt. I can see, that, see me but i can't see him dude Fuck you can't see me that's what no. i'm trying to find out Fuck. okay because you need to see me to be able to port on me yeah you'd have yeah. to move like one more up I can uh, I, I can, can see here. Nice. I can see this block. Uh, five, and like this ten, block. Vision's pretty yeah, cool. I can see you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you can see me now. Yep. You can port in my my bow attack. So if I port in you, it's going to be a five plus your weapon. Right. Is the my AC on break? his ability is like we don't need to exposed hide, right? So it'll just be normal hit. Normal hit because it's piercing. Which should break his AC. Vulnerability plus stack. Twelve. Um, that said, can I can I roll Brett not to actually do my roll just to see what my hit actually is on my bow? 
Oh yeah, so you're saying this is a count? this this is not a roll you're counting, correct? No, not counting this roll. Just All right, yeah, go for it. Cool. it. Plus, that plus is twelve. Plus twelve. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if we port in that, that'd be seventeen. That'll break his AC because it's sixteen. Perfect. Right? It, well, it's seventeen, I think. Or is it sixteen? I think well, it's sixteen. Me meter beat Me to is break fine. armor yeah. class. All right, let's do that. Let's port uh, in that. Yeah, to beat it. Yeah. Okay, then yeah, we port in that to a seventeen. The beat on me, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Because I'm pretty sure you can you can meet an AC, right? If if his AC yep. is 17, as long as you meet, yeah. you still break the armor class. Yeah. All right. I okay. spend my portent to All right. guarantee the hit. 17 vulnerability hits. stack and sneak attack. Which you oh, want. your vulnerability stacking. All right, here we go. Vulnerability stack spent. You've hit. Uh, hit that acid short bow, and then we'll see how much damage you do. Plus five, so 20. Uh, okay. There we go. So 10, 11, plus 22, 33. Uh, that is 66 points of damage. Nice. Nice. Yeah, not bad. As you strike true at the heart of Low the creature. Rolls too. Yeah. All right. Um, sweet. Okay. Um, that's I used my bone section to dash, so I'm, I'm tapped. That's okay. My uh. <laughs> Let me add the tank buster turn. Wait, is taunting a, t a bonus action? Sorry. It is a bonus action to taunt. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I believe Skag's a, a Krendor is AFK, correct? He's a yes. zero back, yeah. Yes. Uh, mm, how do we want to handle this? I'm assuming uh, uh, a Skag's is going to catapult. Is that correct? He's good at catapult. He would let's, catapult. Let's be real. If he's got the slots for it, he'll do like three hard to parts. No, no. He would fog right now. I'm pretty sure he, he <laughs> oh, told again? me that he wanted to fog, actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. Nah, it was his last like words. <laughs> I'd like to fog. No, I think, yeah, probably catapult. The tentacles are, are coming in. Well, we'll give, uh, we'll give Krendor a couple of minutes. And if he isn't back by then, We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll auto, uh, You guys want to make bets, though? What do you think it's catapult? Let's get some money down oh, on the board yeah. already. God damn it. Uh, uh, put a dollar on this. I'd, I'd, put, I'd, put, I'd put a fiver. One, no, a fiver? Yeah, on catapult. All right. He's going to see how low that health is and be like, here's the <laughs> problem. We're all betting that he will. No one's yeah, but gonna... now we don't say that we think he will. Yeah, okay, Brett has to, Brett's go. house, so he has to pay yeah, us. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Good luck, Brett. I bet $30,000 on him. <laughs> That's an oddly specific amount. <laughs> well, I also bet $30,000 that... Uh, House damn it. Bet. You win. House yeah. always wins. Yep. Exactly. We'll give him one more minute, uh, and then we'll auto, auto catapult. Uh, Brett, can you read... We, we scanned Tank Buster, right? Correct. Yes. Is that in our list somewhere? I don't think I saw it. No worries, I shall copy paste. Thank you. Tank Buster. Bardic Parasite Queen attacks with the Parasitic Surge towards the player with the most uh, current HP. Or if a creature has the Taunt ailment. Okay. Uh, Skagzat, uh, Krendor's not here, so I think we're gonna auto catapult. Uh, does that nice, sound good I won the bet. <laughs> That's how this works. Yeah. So I don't I don't know how long we were, we're going to be waiting. So you would cast the highest level he has. Absolutely, I'm already I'm already on it. Uh, okay, did he cast a catapult last turn? Uh, yes, he's been he's actually casted nothing but catapult. Oh. All right, so this is this he's going to cast a third level catapult. <laughs> 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 okay, here we go. Uh -huh. I'm going third level. 15. 15 points of damage. I'm all, I am also going He would to... lucky that or, or re-roll. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh well, yeah, he would remember that. He'd re lucky all too. three times. Hey, Krendor. <laughs> yeah. Krendor, were you going to cast Catapult? Yeah. That's oh. leading the witness. All right. Uh, 3d6. <laughs> he's also, he's also going to empower... Uh, so those threes, I think I roll, I got a two and two ones. You got two ones and a two. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, oh, so yeah. four. Look, yeah, yeah, empower that. Yep, yep, yep. So <laughs> nine extra 12. damage there, uh, 23 points of damage. 
Uh, and now that you are back, Skagzag, uh, please give me two wild magic rolls. Yes. Double oh. nines. Double nine. Oh. Nothing Double happens. Nine. Twice. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you Twice. still have a, you still have a movement and a bonus action remaining, right. Skagzag. Hmm. Guess I'll move up a couple here. Yep. And uh, I mean we've already analyzed everything. They're almost. I just hit my fedora once more. All right. What fedora? What is he doing? <laughs> uh, Chisel hyena, please, please make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. As uh. Uh, 14 fails. You take 12 points of true damage, and uh, the Parasite Queen will heal for 12. Oh, and well, well, that's and, not going to save it. And now it's time for the Tank Buster. Uh, Model, did you take any damage this round? This, Model's this combat... never taken damage ever. Model, you've taken no damage so far? Oh, I've taken no damage the whole fight. I don't Sorry. think he's ever taken damage. <laughs> well, you will now be the target and of um of the tank buster, which uh, I'm thinking about running back. I technically back. have a lot of HP. So uh, it has to be your current HP, which does not include temp HP. <laughs> wow, God, God damn it. Damn it. Idiot. Well, anyway, <laughs> take me, Brett. <laughs> uh, well, it's not going to take you. Uh, it's going to hit the person blocking you, which will be the hyena. Diesel. Cheezle, please make give me a dexterity saving throw. Live. Live. Oh, there it is. Shit. There it is. And That's he's a got, nimble hyena. And he's got danger <laughs> sense. Uh, so, I mean, still uh, advantage, but whatever. That's good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's good. No damage. Uh, Skagzag already went. It is now the battlefield's turn, or Pikel's turn. Pikel. Okay. I'm going to... Um... <laughs> I'm Fry. gonna I'm Corner. gonna approach the tentacle mm -hmm. and I'm gonna hit it with the Mordo handshake hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, oh does the macro work for it cause it's not oh really uh, yeah apparently all the macros right. broke on every character sheet so we have to make new character sheets is this so, why uh, three okay. season three is happening I... in like a million years in the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The macros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to roll Your macros will be working really next week. Uh, Summer's gonna work for it. Okay. Or Summer's gonna get it fixed uh, for us. Okay. Legend. Is... Blessed Hit. Summer. That hits 24. Yeah. 3d20, okay. please. I fucking kill this thing. 3d20? Oh my god. Dang. 37 <laughs> points of damage. And the war to like bite it a little bit. <laughs> right. All There's right. nothing left for the wolf to bite. You've got it's a gone. bonus action remaining. Yeah. Hmm. I wish I. Actually, wait. Can I use my fear with the small? To just yes, you can. The tentacle? Okay, yes, you cool. can. 11 points that. of damage. Uh, the tentacle. So... Ah! And the. <laughs> Talk? Yeah. You didn't yeah, know. Have, Wait, do they have souls? You could have a friend. What are we doing everything. here? What are we doing here? Dude, oh I could totally. God. Here's my game plan. We're going to kill this thing, and then I'm going to use my ability to talk to anything and make anything understand my language to barter with the worm in my chest. All right. What the fuck? Uh, vulnerability stack added, and a true damage has been inflicted upon the Parasite Queen. Pikel, <laughs> still your turn. Um, should I even bother taunting it, you guys? Nah, this I don't over. think so at this point. Okay. Yeah, because cool. it's next turn. I don't like it's um, think it's right. going to make it another turn cycle okay. after. No, no, no. We have a vulnerability okay. stack on it as well, which is what you did. So. My, if, if, if Cheezle doesn't kill it, Qua will. And if Qua doesn't oh, kill it, my trees and rocks will. Um, does that end your turn, Pikel? Yes. Uh, Cheezle, give me a constitution saving throw as my the central. Continues My to trees suckle. and rocks will this is the craziest statement I've ever heard. All right, thirteen <laughs> points of damage. Your hyena is no more. Now, 
Yeah, all right. I, I'm, I'm still alive, baby. It just unleashed its own killer back onto the battlefield. <laughs> and it will, oh, and it will heal for 13. Uh, please place yourself uh, anywhere within these uh, four squares. Which four? These four uh, right here? These four right here. I'm going to stay where I'm at then. All right. Where your hyena was, essentially. Okay. Uh, Cheezel, it's your turn. My three attacks shall begin now. <laughs> Attack number one. That hits. For, for, is, uh, is vulnerability for a whole turn? I'm still it? attacking his weakened state. Yes, you his... are. Yes, you are. Uh, vulnerability is for one attack only. One attack only. Okay. Yes, but he has so gained another does not hit. Or she gained I don't think then. If it's uh, an 18, it doesn't hit, right? Uh, AC 19. is 19. so reckless that right now, correct. Jesse. You could be so freaking reckless. Well, like, yeah, but Bob. Okay. Uh, oh, 26 hits, 26 hits for nine, plus another three. That's a crit. That's a crit. Oh, That's a crit. Shit. That's a crit. Oh, yard, oh, That's a crit. All right. First off, as per usual, let's add a three to the previous nine. Make that already a added. solid. Already, already added. Oh, God bless. Uh, so, all right. Hit him with the old oopty. Uh, 20 points of damage total. and you get an additional weapon attack because you crit well look at this this goober oh that my hits. god he almost did it again <laughs> oh my god or 18 damage. points of damage get finish this claw prove your prove your place in the goblins <laughs> uh Jesus, the, Jesus, does that end your turn claw. deep breath uh, yeah, i'm gonna say right here <laughs> and uh can i use my um uh, bonus action to taunt? Yes, you can. You are now the taunt. taunted status until the end of your next round. Quas gonna think his fucking staff is like the ultimate weapon now. He's just gonna walk. If up I could and get in it. melee range. All right, she's at the oh, end of your round. Uh, the tendril will go over and begin to drain at your life force. Give me a Constitution saving throw. Constitute this, you son of a bitch. That, oh that's that is constitutionally yeah, that's so powerful. <laughs> oh man! Go, Quad! Go, finish if, the fight. Five, ten, fifteen. Hop over this rock. Twenty, twenty-five, that's thirty. That's difficult. That's difficult. Forty. <laughs> <30, laughs> Hop over oh, this rock. Oh, it's difficult. Is it? I couldn't the rock. Over that rock. Um, God, <laughs> this is a frustrating distance to be from the monster. Um, okay. <laughs> Mathematically, this could work. Erupting Earth at fourth level. Let's you do, do it. You could do his own mobility as well. Oh, it did. It's enough. If he do, if he succeeds, if he doesn't, he's so next, slow. Though. There's no way. What's he gonna do? Crit you again? Got this. You got this. You got this. Dodge this. You did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the most powerful warrior on our team. <laughs> tree. Oh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Wait. Uh, can Tree use vulnerability? Yes. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I just, I just had a, I yeah. just had like a, a thought, but it's well too late. I could have bonus action some bullshit. You could have also vulnerability oh, stacked it. Yeah. Vulnerable <laughs> what? How does that vulnerability work? Vulnerability stacked double damage. That's eh, too late for that. There it is. <laughs> she burns. She burns so full of shit. A tree uh, can do leafy Free. thumbs ups with its branches. Free. Okay, first of all, I gotta make sure we do a do a conjure here. For some reason I assume Chisel would have used the bonus tech. I was just zoned out. All right, another <laughs> another tendril spawns over here. Cheezel, give me a Constitution saving throw as your life force begins to be absorbed. The parasite desperately trying to survive. That's ten health down. Which means, no, no, he heals for ten. <laughs> No! Tree! 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 Come on! Uh, Clark, it is now your turn. Because it's a bonus action, the other thing I want to do is a bonus action. Can I bardic inspiration the tree and then use my action for my animate objects? <laughs> no, you can't. You have to choose one or the other. Yeah, sorry. That's some, that's some stupid. It's worth the vulnerability items. stack, dude. It's worth. Yeah, tree's it, gonna it tree's gonna vulnerability stack. This guy. <laughs> Here we Bro! go for thirty six <laughs> points of or thirty eight points of damage with the vulnerability stacks bet. Uh, Clark, please describe to me the scene of the finishing blow against uh, this parasite queen. The the tree is going to pick up the two rocks behind it, 
Oh, kind of right next to it, bouncing up no. and down in the air. It's going to pick him up, and it's going to smash him over the thing's head. Uh, completely caving it in. <laughs> That's going to start pulling it out of the ground like a like a tree being uprooted. I fucking love Trunko. Uh, Trunko! Trunko is superior to Dungo in every way. Quaz going to act like he's controlling the tree. <laughs> like a kid act like he controls the, the grocery store. <laughs> With the yeah. hefty body of the Parasite Queen, lifeless and slammed across the Bardic <laughs> College's courtyard, the encounter ends there. End initiative. <sighs> Man, we're so strong. I would say I broke a sweat, but this temp HP... Turtles is, can't um, sweat. Turtles is that true? Sweat. Bigger. Can turtles yeah. sweat? There you go. Uh, there you go. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> First of all, some good news. Lots of good news. Clark. Hi. The slumbering parasitic slug within your chest cavity. You feel it stir as if it was about to awaken. And then it stops its movement as you feel this heavy, rigid pit in your what? chest. Oh. Dang, I wanted to keep it. You can keep it. I mean, technically, you you It you, laid you eggs have. all over you. You oh, are mostly no. egg at this point. I mean, technically, you still have I, I was hoping I could have another passenger to hang out with on <laughs> Clerk's fucking stupid brain bus, I guess, that he has going on right I, now. I, I am I'm excited to let you know that you have the corpse of a parasite within you. Nice. A yes. corpse, you say? <laughs> um, it oh, still no. has, is bestowing you your bardic abilities. Oh, nice. You so I was going to say, if it dies, I want to switch my fucking college. No, 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 no. I mean, you so, just absorb its nutrients. If you would like to switch your college, you're free to do so if you'd like at this I'm gonna point. I'm going to think about it because yeah. I, I think that it might be an interesting character thing at this point. Because so, so above board, so, because I don't think anyone's going to be opening your chest cavity anytime soon. Yeah, no. <laughs> what? You uh, have, yeah. <laughs> what? Um, well, you, so the parasite uh, essentially rolled up into itself and died, hardening, becoming this obsidian parasitic corpse. That is now nestled within your chest cavity. Nice. So it's a font of power that's within you. That's still granting you the power of a bardic college of your choice, which this case was elegance, but you can uh, change that if you so wish. Uh, Wait, yeah, you, you're uh, are powered by slugs <laughs> in, in goblin. Yeah, land, in, in goblin. Wrong with you. Up. Wait, yeah. so you're saying he's got a powerful gem inside him that could be harvested and sold? Yes. Good to know. That's above board. Uh, that is yeah, above board. Yeah, the tree points yeah, but, but and does like what you can only assume is pack. like it's drawing a fucking like, you know, like, like just drawing a fucking <laughs> finger across his neck and pointing at oh, model yeah. and fucking Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the tree lights on fire. No! No! The tree, what? The tree. No! <laughs> I gave him a hug. <laughs> I cast animate objects again. <laughs> on what? It's now you're just gone. giving it pain. You're bringing it yeah, back into pain. Like, another, another tree. Another tree. Over here. Me. <laughs> Literally, I mean, it stumbles a couple feet, falls over, bursts into flames. Kill me. <laughs> just let him go. I'm a monster. <laughs> uh, uh, so, before I roll loot. Uh, everyone levels up their main class. Congratulations. Ooh, you're all officially mango. level 10. Level no. 10. Level now 10. you're all fucked. And your main class. Ding, dang, dong. Yo, that's some oh, big shit. Huge. That uh, is big. So uh, you have some loot that I'm going to roll. Uh, so there is there. there's less... Uh, uh, Pompous, pomp and circumstance, yada, 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 when it comes to loot, which I found to be a lot better than me rolling and saying, you failed this loot, you failed this loot. I love failed failing. This loot. I like that. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, guaranteed loot is as followed. Uh, you get yourself an Ishtar Day Crystal Cluster. This allows you to increase. Uh, you find it at the core of this beast. This allows you to increase your weapon up to or armor up to plus one at a cap of plus three. And then, one, two, three, 
Uh, let me roll your guaranteed loot here. One second. Uh, probably would have helped if I bolted this. What? How many luckies did we save, gang? All of them. I don't think I have, any of you. I didn't spend any yeah, fucking money. Yeah, I don't. Money. No, now you source I don't points. own any. All right, boys. I would say just flat <laughs> out, like, yeah, I'm going to spend all three of mine. We have nine luckies between us. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. All right. Let me just... Uh, Poor guy. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to roll a 1d5 for your guaranteed loot. One. So, uh, along that, nestled within uh, the womb of this slug is a subdued parasite. This is a, uh, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold Let's on. Just add one more to the pile. Come on, put it on my head. <laughs> well, the subdued parasite will set your base charisma to a 24. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. this, this is a permanently attuned Parasite. Can we, can we please put it on me just for how stupid it's going to be? I don't know, dude. I, I kind of want it. I will let you know. I will let you know that if you do take the parasite, you will lose the mushroom on top of your head and then able to permanently they compete, attune they it fight. to someone else. Okay, think about oh, this. If we, oh, if we lose the mushroom, then someone else can put that on their head? Yes. Well, could I have the mushroom? No, no, it doesn't make sense for your character. It doesn't, make, it doesn't make sense for you. Qua, Qua you're honorary goblin, all right? Don't get ahead of yourself, okay? <laughs> Give it to Skag, yeah, it makes more sense. If I got this charisma... Skag, I would Skag go with the little eight. mushroom head would actually be fucking adorable, dude. Yes. It's too eight adorable. Eight to it would ruin his vibe. Charisma. Also, oh. I, I'll, also... It, it, no, 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 no. Also, it, it's fair to point out, because this breaks the limits of 20, um, this will take up two of your attunement That's slots. fine. That's fine. I... I, sort it out. I will crafted. pick up the parasite, the slumbering parasite or whatever from the ground and put it on top of my mushroom head and sort of watch as they fight each other for the spot in my head, like nyeh, nyeh, just like pushing at each other. All right. Uh, so the subdued parasite is going to clurt. Is that correct, party? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I, it. I suppose <laughs> the parasite begins to dig into your mushroom head um, as you literally hear the voice screaming towards Quok. Help me! Help me! <laughs> as you then begin to see this mushroom twist in pain, and then it falls lifeless and dead onto the ground as oh, the no. parasite <laughs> will dig into the skull cavity of corn. So what does this one look like? I would scoop it up in my head. Like a centipede? What does it look? Is it like Ew. a slug? So this is gonna be uh, again grafted onto Clarent. So right. Clarent, you got to choose the mushroom head. I need you to choose somewhere nice and visible of where you would like this uh, subdued <laughs> parasite to be. Uh, I feel like it'd be coiled around the top of his head, almost like a caterpillar, like mm -hmm. a snake, or okay. like a pile of shit. It has like, to be. It, ha it has to be part of your head, though. Are you okay part with of my, this? Oh yeah, it's part of my head. Yeah. All right. But so, uh, grafted within your brain, uh, you will see that this uh, this this parasite essentially is jut is now jutting out of your skull, wrapped around almost like a snake uh, uh, curled like a poop uh, emoji, turban. Yeah, right? yeah. Like the poop like, emoji. Like a, like the poop uh, emoji on my head. head. Now. Yeah, poop emoji That's on beautiful. your head. Yes. Um, you do have a bald spot currently on your head where the mushroom was residing, and that is a pale <laughs> that doesn't grow off color. That's a pale off color of your head. <laughs> yeah. Learn, speak to me. I'm clicked. I'm cupping the little mushroom in my hand. It looks up at you, almost as if it, you don't. It, this isn't actually happening, but in your mind, it raises like it's raising a little hand to you, uh, wishing for you to uh, accept it. Important question for fan I art. Pop it into my mouth. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it's fucking done. Thank you. And then you just consume it. Um, as you consume this, uh, you feel a transformation overcome your body. Uh, where would you like a giant mushroom growth to be? Hmm. I feel like well, it'd be cool if he looked like Toad from Mario Brothers. <laughs> also, that would be the least like cool Vito. thing. We've had an example of that already. Mm, well, I already have like a little tree growing out of my back. I don't know if the mushroom wants to just like pop up and supplant that. Replace it. 
Do or it could be... look like Toad from Mario. <laughs> I feel like you yeah. should look like Toad from Mario. What if, what if your tree is replaced into the giant mushroom tree from Terraria? Perfect. So you get like blue mushrooms now, now off on your uh, on your shell. Yeah. What if your shell becomes the mushroom? That sounds confusing, and I have to live in there. <laughs> <laughs> I have to retreat into my shell sometimes. I don't want that. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking logistically. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I got you. Well, maybe you can have like, a little mushroom poking out of your turtle shell. So, my God. So your eight charisma has now become a 20. <laughs> Wait, that's what he had? Yeah, that's what you had. had. Logistical benefits. I just wanted a mushroom. Yeah, well, you now we were going to give it to Skagzag, whom it would have benefited, but you ate it. And that's on you, Qua. Sick. <laughs> now you have to listen to me. Because <laughs> I'm convincing. My my charisma is so good. You're going to have Holy to listen fuck. to me. All right. So yeah, gonna, we'll see about that. Just going to have to do. I'm just doing some rolls right now. Uh -huh. Now I kick back and don't take any more loot. Oh, what oh. if I had a little mushroom <sighs> beard? All right. You gain a bonus <laughs> loot. Bonus loot, everyone. You gain an additional piece of loot. How lucky you are. Look at you. You we gain good. The tone. Did you roll a luckies? Uh, no, I did. I haven't rolled any lucky yet. Oh, so. right. So just, just naturally leverage. lucky. This is natural <laughs> bonus loot. Uh, you get Tome of the Parasitic Surge. This is a spell that Ooh, you can learn. 10 it, 10 It is a sixth level spell with that cast a 15 foot by 150 foot line. Dexterity oh. save on fail deals 10 oh, d 10 piercing damage or half on success. When you cast this spell using a spell slot of seventh level or higher, it deals an additional 2d10 piercing damage. Jesus, that's, that's right. really good. I can shoot for like 33 yeah. damage though, so. Who wants that? <laughs> that is a uh, uh, spell that can be taught to any spellcaster. I, we can teach it to any spellcaster. Yes. Cause all I'm thinking is that it's pretty much good Oops. for fucking anyway. <laughs> yeah. I've got the highest spell save now of the group. I mean, can we pocket the tome for now? We yeah, don't we can. Take it yeah, absolutely. Right absolutely. Yeah. Cool. All I'll right. Figure that out. Now, the one thing I will say is I'm going to roll on the super ultra rare loot. I have to roll a 20 on this piece to see if you actually get the super ultra loot. Here we go. We three. spend all nine luckies. <laughs> all nine luckies. <laughs> go. Uh, and then final one was just the bonus magic item. All right. So... Now it's time for your luckies. How many luckies we do you have? Spend all we have nine, nine luckies. Right. Super three people, item. three luckies. You can uh, only so spend one, one lucky per loot, piece of loot. Oh, Damn it. Nine. We, we saved oh, too God. many luckies. Come on, Brett. Can we Make lucky the D20? Just one. Come on, no. 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 I'm no. the DM. I've got to win sometimes. We're never going to see uh, the draw. We always lose. We have nine we... luckies. Can we lucky every single piece then? Yes, we, you can. We, yeah, we yes, you can. Luck. Absolutely. Lose, and I get that's, nothing. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to, you want to lucky every piece? Uh, that would be one, two, three, four luckies. <laughs> five luckies. We have the luckies. Oh, yeah. no, we have the luckies so to do fuck. that. All right, here we go. Luckies. Here we go. Hey, look at that. Boom. This is fucked. Was is that, that the, the ultra item? mega item? No, that was for at can, the top. Can down. it be? You know, can you I can't. Yeah, Ma, I can't. I really we want to, but I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I don't want to okay. do that to you guys. It's okay. I don't want to cheapen the the moment. It's, they uh, wouldn't have cheapened it. It would have made it better. It would have cheapened it, dude. All right. So it this, so happy. you found, you get the hide of the queen, uh, plus three studded leather armor that gives you resistance to all slashing damage while you wear it's this. It's not on. bad. It's pretty good. Who wears yeah. armor still? We'll pocket it. We'll pocket it Side for later. tangent. I've decided where I want the mushroom. <laughs> I want it to be a big flat mushroom. Oh, you get like another uh, another piece of loot. Another bonus piece of loot. Say another Look at parasite. that. No, I was like, Here. we can't eat any more, man. Nice. Uh, pile it on. Well, we it is it. a parasite. However. <laughs> It is oh a God. crystallized parasite that functions as a plus three dagger. Oh. <laughs> Once per day, you may have damage dealt with one attack heal you for the damage dealt. Oh. This can be determined after you deal the damage. That's cool. That's pretty sweet. We'll pocket that too. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, okay model, we know you want. <laughs> All right. No, 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 going to I have it. bread and you butter. Pocket. They are my bread and butter, okay? That, that's my dagger. Uh, that is, okay, so I'm happy to report Holy you shit. have, besides the ultra rare loot, you have gotten, you've received every piece of loot that's possible. Thanks, dropped. DM. Statistically, there's no way we're getting the next 20, but no, 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 that no, is correct. Statistically, that we're 100% getting the next that, one. That's correct. Uh, now, DM's gonna let us win. 
Okay, so this is also a permanently attuned item called the Parasitic Callus. Uh, your body turns into a giant callus. Oh, as the that's a skag sack thing. Skag sack. <laughs> oh, skag. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, skag. Oh, and then he could fog at the top the like a misty Don't even sell him a toy. Just the skag sack run up and start eating it now. Skag sack, would you like me to tell you what this does, or do you just want to become a walking giant callus? Uh, I mean, I'll take it, man. I'll take it, and then you can tell me. Okay. Yeah, okay. this is oh, the no, considered no, no, no. skag. He's evolved. He's evolved oh, now. So, All right. Uh, roll for concussion. He's a fedora, so, so yeah. yeah. He's a thinking skag. So this yeah. is this this permanently takes an attunement slot. Your body becomes a callus. You become calloused, which means you can no longer wear armor. Because yeah. armor has no effect on you. He never, but, he never liked clothes But anyway. your natural AC becomes 16. So your bottom line becomes a 16 AC. That includes dexterity modifiers can be added on to that. So I can rip off all my armor and yes. clothing and yes. just become a naked callous armor. Hey, you want, to know funny? you want to know something funny, Krendor? You're just a yeah. worse turtle. <laughs> mm, I'd say better at this point. Ah, uh, Turtle's got Maybe a natty of 17. Hey, Druid's are just worse. Spit up that fucking Gosh. mushroom and give it to Skagzak too. No, Clurd's staying with me. I'm Clurd. <laughs> I'm Clurd. Sorry. I'm Clurd. Uh, yes. Uh, so here's the here's the difference between this though. Um, you, while it is true that Qua has a natural AC of 17. Uh, dexterity modifiers do not apply to his natural armor. As a callus, <laughs> dexterity modifier Whoa. still applies to the natural 16 AC. What's your What's dex, Skagzak's dex modifier right now? Uh, Skagzak's dex is a plus two, which means his armor class becomes oh. a, a uh, 18 AC. That's not Ooh, dex nice. made right. I mean, wait, isn't your armor really good though? I gave you the-, the, the His the, AC currently the is a 16 with yeah. the studded oh. leather armor. With, with, wait, with his leather? Oh, oh, sorry, with the, with the I, suit. I gave him the space suit. <laughs> yeah, with the I space suit. I think it's better than the space suit. Right, it is okay. better than the space better. suit. Yep. That's valid. Okay. And then oh. someone else can wear the space suit if they want, like a hand-me-down. Yeah, what who about wants the my space suit? Hide? That's another it's piece disgusting of armor disgusting fucking <laughs> armor. It's sweaty. <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh, no, no, no. It's not sweaty. It's future tech, so it it, it, it just completely <laughs> purges the sweat. <laughs> it's breathable. <laughs> it doesn't have a scent. It doesn't smell. You don't smell when you... I feel like oh, he wow. somehow got it to smell. <laughs> <laughs> he can't so smell. If anyone can do it. Yeah. Who wants has to smell. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want. I don't armor. want that thing. I'm basically a callus already. <laughs> uh, we'll pocket Skagzag's armor if he does change into a callus, but we could. But I don't think anyone can actually benefit from it at this point. Maybe. Yeah. No. Nah, we could sell it. Mm. Yeah. Leave it. Leave it. Utilize it in battle. Some other sucker to uh, wear. We not knowing it's Skagzag it. something, and it'll be funny because they become a callus. Skagzag. Unless you're talking about the armor. Skagzag, are what you? What does Skag want to do? Skagzag, are you becoming callus? Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Motel helps Skagzag out to the onesie and then he <laughs> oh. yeah, does. Ew. Thank you. <laughs> Rips him down. There you go, mate. Yeah. Pulls yeah. Him. Fucking hell, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> How does it? How does it even do that? I don't know. All right, I'm happy to report, Skagzag, you are now one giant walking callus. Can we get fan art of that so we can really yeah, just, yeah, I don't absolutely can you understand. describe it? Just give the fat like give them like a tiny little Are his yeah. veins yeah. less visible? Like how does this work? Uh <laughs> so normally you would see the pulsating of his veins. They have stopped pulsating. Um you know, just now here's hard. the thing. As somebody yeah. who's got like some gym calluses on my hands, yeah. right? Oh, it becomes more like stained glass. So it's kind of yeah. like, oh yeah. my god, it's, it's like hard. Hard. <laughs> like Stained awesome. glass with a fedora. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. there you go. Uh, Skagzag is now just this this dead looking stained glass husk. walking husk. husk. Of, uh, <laughs> that's exactly it. Uh, and then oh finally, uh, I will now roll the super ultra rare. And it's going to be a loop. 20, isn't it? Nope, okay. it's not. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. Let's not joke around. All right, and that is. Uh, do you want to know what the ultra loot is, or do you not want to know? I'm not gonna tell. No. You. All right. Why would you tell us? <laughs> I would, I, I'll you just be angry. Just that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have four luckies to Some spare, Brett. We're sitting on four luckies. 
Some people want to know. Some people want to know. No, I would love to know, actually. Some people want to know. DMs, DMs. <laughs> I would love to. I, I'm not a big DM. I don't really use Discord all that much. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me in front of everyone like I want it. Yeah, if you could just in front of everyone, what is it? <laughs> and that ends today's session. Uh, so, <laughs> before, uh, before we wrap up, though, um, I will let you know some things that you're generally feeling as this parasitic invader uh lies dead at the bard uh bard college's courtyard now that you've had a moment to rest and relax or not rest but just take a breather for 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 a hot minute you feel as though the lands of the the ishtar highlands is slowing your decay down and for some reason being here being back within your swamp lands um seems to be fortifying your body allowing you to withstand the effects of your of missing your day uh influence while you're here within the gobby lands this is not a cure to your death sentence it's just prolonging hmm. the inevitable but you do right. have time uh, and it is nighttime here right now correct okay but you nice. do have you do have time yeah and we have the destination we want to go to already hmm. in that yeah. Chisel may or may not have made up. <laughs> Would you? Okay, so that 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 is the That's question I journey. have for you. Um, it's a I think a week a week's journey. Um, oh. you, above above board, uh, you will be able to survive uh the journey. Um, you prob well, probably while you're here within the Gobby Lands, uh, you have another month before you oh, would completely so deteriorate. Um, uh, while not in the Gobby Lands, it probably would have been more like a week. Okay. So, um, is the Fortress of Chief Big Belly your destination for the next session? That or the day spa Cheezel talked about. Right, the day spa is where right. it's probably at. Let's be real. DAE. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of like the sound of that day spa. It totally exists. We just have Maybe to it's the nearby. Way. Yeah, mm, maybe a, they have online, now, it, may, though. it may also be a fortress, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but what it's in a swamp know, and it has a spa. One gob's day spa is another <laughs> gob's fortress. Yeah. Uh, the answer the, is yes. We'll be going to the fortress. We will be going. Right. To the <laughs> <laughs> just want to make sure that I'm just like, oh, we're going to a day spa. All right. So that is your next destination. You'll be getting to head over in that general direction. Fortress, that, day spa, and salon. <laughs> just to be sure <laughs> and oh, yeah. uh that will wrap up today's session of goblins of io thank you guys so much for playing today it was dude i can't believe i got this this mushroom that easy because i'm gonna be honest man i was fiending for that ever since i met you yeah well <laughs> i was like how no, come he gets a mushroom look, on his head look, all, been all i'm the after the whole is time. cold hard meta advantage okay <laughs> and the second Brett said 24 i start frothing at the mouth i didn't even know there was a statistical advantage <laughs> I was, I was what, like, oh, is my, what is my dc now for spells with uh if you had a 20 so it's a, a plus two increase to your dc oh my god yeah, my really dc high. for spells with fucking bard shit is a 19. Yep. yeah that's good that's crazy you guys had fun today yeah yeah awesome awesome, yeah, awesome. Good hey, shit. hey we got we got some we got some fan art wow we give me oh my gosh we got some great high quality not cursed he says it's cursed it's i can't well, it's, it's mega cursed, cursed. okay he, he, it, all of it's probably cursed yeah he says unable to uh, keep a straight face uh yeah so I'm gonna go and load this up. Cursed. We got some. We got some really good shit. We got some real good shit. Um, <laughs> I find it so funny. Charisma went from my worst stat to my like best. You went from eight dude, to you gotta, dude, Actually, my if best quad leveled up two and now he can do like a. Uh, could, if he's already a level ten druid, could he do like a bonus? Well, like, Qua, do you, were Qua, were you a level ten druid? Mm -mm, I was level nine. Okay, level so nine, now, level one. Yeah, dang, dude. So that, honestly, you know what I might do if I were you. With ten charisma, go into a class that uses charisma spells. Because so with yeah, twenty charisma, all of a sudden, cleric. And I'm taking already level in charisma. it. I mean, do you have your subclass in your cleric? Oh, I thought cleric sure some clerics use uh, charisma. Uh, they use yeah, they, that, wisdom is their uh, main one. 
I picked it because it was wisdom. Because awesome. you know, yeah. going into this, I had negative but maybe, one. Maybe one of the subclasses uses it. I don't know. Awesome. Uh, I haven't got... given it much thought. A little uh, key of well, we got time. we got more we got more movies we got more movies yes Ooh. we got animation yes uh cash one moment loading oh, all the fan art one moment please yes. <laughs> Very cool. Next week is going to be I, so Yeah, it's really good. cool. Thanks for showing us. <laughs> yeah, you're like bragging over there. You have a good Oh, time. sorry. You're no, no, no. Away. I just, it's, I, I talk out loud. My apologies. It's. Yeah, oh, most geez. people do. Yeah, talk. I think we all talk out loud, Brett. <laughs> I talk. Okay, let me rephrase, you sons of bitches. Brett's getting owned right now. Damn. I, Damn. I, I, I talk to sorry, myself Brett. out loud I'm sometimes. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> can't believe this. Uh, actual, actual. Uh, you're not. You you're not. You're there. not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let me get this. Yeah. All right. Turn your eyes to the screen and observe. Look at this. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Break dancing. <laughs> I love it. I love all of it. Yeah. <laughs> we all remember this lovely little scene over here. <laughs> Oh that's God. accurate <laughs> to, to life accurate. that's as effective yeah i love microsoft paint art dude yeah so good I, we know <laughs> do you think it's Dire. gonna end up in like a art museum in the Whoa! that's amazing, that is amazing. I mean, wait it's you know it's pretty good oh, but the last so one right. was just a little better <laughs> yeah <laughs> what yeah. happened to the emblem wait no uh, we're not shh it's back the emblem <laughs> the amulet yeah, I guess can you I... can cast mending on it. Well, yeah, it's, can I cast mending? Well, you know, because it's magic armor, I mean, it's easy to repair after a, uh, after, uh, after, after a after long rest. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I love it. Why, yes, I am about to cast fog. How could you <laughs> tell? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, I Jesus. hate it. That's a Chad man. Uh, this is uh, Goblin <laughs> of Io uh, Hebrew Doodles. This is actually Yo, really, that's awesome. cool. really fucking Ooh, sweet. Cool. Oh, that says by like Brett that. Ultimus, though. <laughs> well, I, I, it's, 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 it's not my doodles. So yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. It's, okay. Oh. Very good. Very good. Skagzag is universally. <laughs> you know what? That's like cave painting. Anyone can do a Skagzag. <laughs> Anyone can do Skagzag. That's, that's the Anybody beauty of Skagzag. Can. Anyone that has an art, artistic Heck. there. Yeah. Oh my god, that's is amazing. So that's good. so cute. So good. I love how pretty she is. That is really good. <laughs> I need really all fan like art from all. now on to have Cheezle be at least 80% smaller than everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so if we're like Final three foot five, yeah, hold yeah, yeah. on. If we're yeah. like three foot five, is one Chisel foot. like a foot and a bit? That's, that's oh, tiny. Yeah, the that's the tiny tiny there. tiniest goblin there ever was. Um, yes. someone, someone decided oh, wow. to draw all the internet goblins, any goblins that are currently... Oh, that's... That's yep. so cute. cool. Yep, yep. <laughs> you're, you're part of this is legends, legendary goblins over here. <laughs> Those some good goblin goblins right there. Verse, the goblin verse. Oh, oh goblin yes. Goblin. How do we get that pulsating face? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, That's fun. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> what the That's fuck? beautiful. That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> <It's demonic. laughs> I don't like this one. Yeah. I hate it. Oh, I hate bro, it. bro, it's October. Uh, we got Krongo, uh, Krongo mushroom over here. Hi, I'm nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. I like this one. <laughs> there. Please do not. Uh, uh, did, did you? Did someone actually draw this on a fucking vandalism? Oh my God. Please don't vandalize fan art, guys. We can't condone vandalism, but we, we do. Cannot. We do condone good artwork. That's great. Yeah. Cool. God, this, come if on. we find out this is Banksy, I would be really blown come away. Come on, dude. <laughs> I wouldn't. It looks like a Banksy. It yeah. looks like a Banksy. Yeah. Mm. What does it mean? Yes. Chad Zag. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's None of veins. Yo, check this shit out. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh that's a God, wild right? Goblin of Iowa. That's yeah. great. And there's everybody over there. That. That's that's some good shit. That's I love some good it. shit. It's really good. It's so good. Rip and tear, Skag Zag. Rip and tear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I stopped trying to make him cool. Don't do that. Skagzag, <laughs> creator of the fog. What the fog? Very Frog nice. Door. Fog. Frog door. Uh, if Skagzag, it's a biblically what, accurate angel. If uh, Skagzag was <laughs> no. a patron deity of fog. That is my guardian angel. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we've got uh, uh, here, the future. Skagzag, uh, uh, the, the future. And then with the AK-47. Oh, I see. It's the staff. It's the staff it's with the tank. Yeah, there's the a staff yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. my oh, gun, yeah. and I'm riding in a pickle tank because obviously the pickle army won the war. Yeah, the pickle the, religion thank took goodness. over. Yeah. Skag Skagzag, stay away from me. You're greasy. Uh, oh sweet baloney no <laughs> what is about to happen there he, just gets closer. he doesn't stop getting closer yeah he does it's, just, it, it's uh good artistic <laughs> nice magabi magabi over here i don't know i'm, I'm thinking oh, nice. that's, not here. that's good stuff and that's some good shit, good shit. <laughs> Uh, I would like to let you guys know Benji fucking did this shit. That's the Benji classic. It's, it's, I, the veins, dude, are amazing. Oh my gosh, so good. I didn't try that hard with the green. It was a little bit of overflow. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. No, it's yeah. <laughs> Your turn, my queen. Oh, no. I like how 3D the veins are. How they yeah. Yeah. Very good. Get them, boys. <laughs> Angry freaking rocks. Dude, that smells fucking crazy, though. Yeah, yeah it, it seemed pretty, pretty good. good. The trees are going to war, and then Angry good Rocks the rings beating the Greg. shit out Appreciate of the tentacles it. over there. Excellent. Friendship with goblins ended. Qua is my only friend. Now. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what our lasted actual, long. like scale is. That fucking is. lasted long. <laughs> I like forgot how small you guys are. Oh yeah, we're like three foot five this on our. Like by, a bunch of children. By, by the way, thanks, Dyer. Really fucking <laughs> no. cool. Oh, no, oh, my God. Uh, that's not canonical, but it is great. Really cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the worm. Cool. I have delicate fingers. <laughs> this is the last thing you see before you pass out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, Tuku coming in with a uh, so pretty cool. Look at this. Oh, pretty. that's very cute. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an improvement, right? <laughs> With little, uh, no, it's just a shit emoji, mate. You just have Christ. a shit on your head. Amazing. Uh, I was kind of imagining it like you know Vol Voldemort in the first Harry Potter film. The back of his got head. The thing, yeah, the back of his head. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> nice about this one is yeah. I can actually fit it underneath my like hat. There's yeah, exactly. And you you unsheathe uh, it. Yeah. I'm putting a video up on the Discord if you guys want to three, oh. two, one it with me. Okay. I don't know how oh, to yeah. count. Well, I don't know the count either. Uh, it's not gonna okay, happen, bro. okay. When I say go, you can hit play or you can't hit play. Whatever okay, you guys cool. want to do, I'll just watch. Let's do yeah. go. All yeah. right, do we'll do go? All right, three, two, one, go. Uh, a B. Let's see what you got. It's it's going to teach me no learn me no I no sing yet. She might not <laughs> even know the tone. Oh, okay. <laughs> And then, then he'll motion over to you at one of your many tools. Uh, key of B, please. And then he'll. I don't know what a fucking B is. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Which one of these is just pointed to me? Which one's the B? Okay, all right. Did you say where? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. It's more like it's more like B. <laughs> it's, that's good. That's good. At this point. Okay. A little uh, key. Uh, uh, <laughs> so good. That was so freaking good. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was D Dub 2000. Thank you so much for that. That was amazing. Oh All right. Well, that's it for fan art. Thank you guys so much for playing. Uh, we'll. Continue this next Wednesday. Sound good? Hell yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll decide yeah. next couple days, Brad, if I'm going to switch my. Yeah, let college. me know. Just uh, just hit me up. Uh, All right. You guys have a good one. See ya. You okay. too. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. All right. Yeah, you guys have a good time. You had fun. Good time all around. Yes. Very good. I had fun. That was good. A couple of things I changed in that fight, but. uh. 
It was good. I it was not as terrifying or as scary as I thought it was gonna be. So we did really well. Thank you very much. Good session all around. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great demon as always. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. So what was the super ultra rare loot? I'll tell you, chat. The super ultra rare loot uh, was essentially that uh, tentacle mechanic uh, that was moving around and draining the life out of people. You can summon one of those once a day, and that tentacle resets at dawn. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been sweet. That would have been sweet. So, But maybe one day, maybe one day we'll see that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, a couple of things of note. First and foremost, I like to I want to bring this up at the top of it. We have an IO Discord. This is where you guys can gather around uh our IO community. Uh, if you enjoy D and D, enjoy talking about uh D and D and IO with everyone, join the IO Discord. It's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Hey, I also have a merch store. If you haven't seen the merch store, please be sure to check it out. We're gonna uh, we have fighter merch currently up there. Uh, our role play rack uh role playing as a fighter it's really freaking awesome the shirt is high quality i have the shirt as well and i'm not just saying it uh it is really good so go ahead and go over to brettultimus.com uh slash merch brettultimus.com check out that merch uh if uh shirts pins and prints aren't your deal but you still would like to support world of io uh head on over to our patreon patreon.com slash world of io i want to give a big shout out to the following uh, patrons along with our over 200 patreon members thank you guys so much for the support uh twitching pickle little panda kiosk king where wiry traveler connor on dvd eagle wolf why not gemology wiggles baker staunch uh alias uh alias uh, kate lisa Liza, Lisa, and Starter Pack. Oh, thank you so much. Really do appreciate everyone who is a member of that. If this is your first time at a uh, World of IO campaign, welcome. You can subscribe over to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash World of IO. Good news, everyone. Uh, all of the IO campaigns uh, are there. And we have a big master playlist that is in chronological order of release date uh, that you can actually watch all of it if you want to be fucking hardcore. When it comes to your D and D adventure, that's a that's a good way to go about it. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Uh, for all other D and D games that are happening this week, uh, we've got an episode of Hunters of Io this Thursday. At Friday, we have a brand new campaign, quite possibly the fi uh, the last uh, new campaign uh, of Phase Two, uh, Altered Ballad, um, which is uh, I'm going to be DMing a bunch of fine uh, fine content creator VTubers. Uh, Haruka of uh, apricot fruit um, or fruit. I, I, I know it's I know it's either or um, Nanners, Snuffy and uh, Vebe. I'm going to be DMing them. Uh, session zero is this Friday at 5 p.m. EST. It should be a lot of fun. I'm really hoping to include some phase three mechanics that I'm going to be working on to see if uh, new players can get behind it. Uh, I do. I definitely do believe at that. Wait, are you DMing uh, that Brett or is Lil Rack DMing them? Uh, as you see, I uh, as you see, the way that I'm DMing now is the way that I'll be DMing everyone. So this is this is this is this is the DMing. This is the DMing sim. So we've got the uh, Lil Rack streams uh, at that point in time. This is include spell point system. No, it does not. I will not be doing the spell point system. Uh, I mean, if, if, if chat, don't ask. <laughs> don't ask what mechanics we're gonna be doing. Uh, you're just gonna have to watch and find out. I'm getting, I'm getting sucked in to people asking me, well, what are you doing? And, and wait, just go watch. Watch Friday. Uh, watch Friday at that point in time. Um, watch Friday uh, over there. So, so, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. So make sure you cut out over 5 p.m. EST over on Friday. And, uh, and yeah, uh, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Twitter.com spread ultimate as well. Anything else? That's it. Yes, Friday is session zero. That's what I just said. Chat! Okay, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate that. If you have any more questions, watch the stream again. <laughs> or go to our Discord or go to Twitter. Uh, I'm sure the answers will be out there. So thank you again for watching. Appreciate you all very much. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Let me go ahead real quick, get those subscriptions so I can go ahead and thank you all properly. There we go.
Let me see. Do, 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 do. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Currently, we have adopted out four, 1,469. Very nice. Uh, digital trash pandas. So thank you, everyone, who subscribed. Uh, Nye the Buster, thank you for the tier one sub for two months. Joper coming in with five gifted subs. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Robert the Red Gaming, thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome to the Rack Pack. Voice Box coming in with a tier one sub. Uh, Baker Staunch uh, gifted a bunch of subs. Thank you so much for gifting all those subs. Baker, Wing Cat, thank you for the tier one sub for seven months. Uh, Warlvik, thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome to the Rack Pack. King of Sloth, thank you for the tier one sub for 25 uh, months. The best sub, thank you for the tier one sub for four months. Strike, uh, Strike us VSX, thank you for the tier one sub for eight months. Uh, Eagle Wolf, thank you for the tier one sub for two years. Uh, Cal Cali Doscope, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Rack Pack. A Fat Frog, thank you for the tier one sub for 25 months. Uh, Jonesy Man, thank you for the tier one sub for 26 months. Tomato, thank you so much for the host. Mr. Ryan, come in with a 3,000 bit cheer. Very generous, Mr. Ryan. Thank you very much. Silver Supreme, thank you for the tier one sub for 35 months. Fat Anon, thank you for the tier one sub for eight months. Crazy Person 23, thank you for the tier one sub for six months. Sacred Burst, thank you for the prime sub for two months. Slider Chris, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Rack Pack. Uh, Keeps, thank you for the prime sub for two months. Uh, Gonzi92, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Rack Pack. From Master TP, thank you for the tier one sub for two months. Uh, JG Palm Tree, thank you for the prime sub for three months. Great Sif, thank you for the tier one sub for two months. And that is that. Thanks for everyone supporting, for subscribing, for joining the Patreon, for buying merch. Thank you for making this my full-time job. Blessed. Blessed, my friends. Blessed. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for Spire of Euclid at 7 p.m. EST. Have a wonderful evening. Get some rest. You're free to roam around the cabin. Bye-bye.